Hello, hello, hello. My name is Tim Cleaver, broadcasting live from twitch.tv slash Tim Cleaver. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to part 31 of my first Elden Ring playthrough. Part 31. Wow. Uh, yeah, so we got, we got a lot of things to do today. It's been a few days since I last played. We got a lot of things to do. Okay, so we're back at the, uh, near the beginning, the second bonfire. Stranded Graveyard. And I was watching another uh, playthrough of this by Donkey, video game Donkey, and he ended up somewhere else here that I didn't know you could do. And I want to do that, and because I just played Dark Souls last night, I'm still kind of <laughs> on Dark Souls controller settings. Hopefully not for too long, though. Yeah, so I want to check this out. I want to, like, get to the final boss, hopefully, tonight. I'm, I'm not expecting to beat it, but I, I want to get to it. And I think that's just after... Uh, oh, After, uh... Rumazula. Room, room, Azula. Excuse me, we'll just go down here. Oh, 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 oh. we can wait here. And then all we do is jump down here, or drop down here. Yeah. I completely missed this the first time I was down here. Not a lot of damage, but they got a lot of bleed damage. I realized we can just shoot these things with bow and arrow. I wonder if that's applicable to like the very first one we find too. Probably. But most players don't have a bow and arrow at that time though. What is that? Oh, that's a message, okay. Behold life, yeah. <laughs> He's spinning around. Okay, let's go this way. Item. And yeah, we'll play for the usual. At least three hours. Lately, it's been closer to five or six hours. And that's okay. Lightning grease. Is that an item? No, it's just a just a light. That's always suspicious when there's like blood stains, but there's no visible enemy. Oh, you just dropped down from the sky. Holy crap. Easy. What's the prize? Urtree's favor. Shit, what the hell is that? Another one? What? 
This one's a bit harder. Not really, actually. Bird Tree's favor, that's a talisman. Raises maximum HP, stamina, and equip load. Oh, we have the plus one. Okay. So we, we were meant to get this way before we got this. I don't remember at all where we got this one. I do not. Something incredible. Who could drop down there? If it wasn't for the messages, you'd never know. Well, I guess you could have an idea. That's some... Screen tearing, I think. Is this back in the room where we fought the boss down here? The uh, ulcerated tree spirit? Another item, holy shit. Maybe we can finally put a stop to that rolling ball. Don't knock me off though. Yes. What is this? Stone sword key, <laughs> okay. So we got one of them back that we used to get in here in the first place. Haha, ha, you're dead. Only I had a bow. Time for revenge and short try bow. Hmm. Maybe that's where we defeat it. With a bow. We lock on. Is there someone in the back there? King Rez, hello. Good to see you here. How's it going? I don't know if we can beat this. Maybe we shoot this thing. The, the driver. Okay, we'll leave it for now. Okay, this is done. Now let's head back to Volcano Manor. There's like still a boss or a mini boss that I still haven't beaten. Shit, where was it? I think it was around here. Yeah, it was like behind here. Yeah. That sounds, sounds awesome, bros. Having a fun night. Awesome. Awesome.
I think this boss should be pretty simple, or not simple, but easy, because we're way over leveled for this area. Uh, no, and try to keep spoiler free, like, try not to mention bosses' names that I haven't met yet. Because that's a huge spoiler. Yeah, the boss is here. And the music is not here. There's the boss. Holy shit! Yeah, it's gonna be easy. Easy. Magma worm. Oh, I sh thought I blocked that. Yeah, shoot an arrow at it. That'll work. Big hits. Let's go. Get out. Either this thing's gonna give, like, enough souls to level up, or, like, a pittance, like 10,000 wounds or something. Like, not a lot. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought it was gonna roll for a second. Die! Foul beast. One more. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, it's a pittance, 22,000 souls. That dragon heart. And a new draconic power is available at the Cathedral of Dragon Community. Nice, nice. Okay, sounds good, Res. Uh, but no, we haven't. We haven't. What? What's going on here? Oh, mountain of fire. Bake me in your flame. What? Who said that? Oh wait, I should put on a fire talisman. Who's saying that? Is it Alexander, the fire pot guy? Or the just the pot guy? Uh what can I replace quickly? Maybe this. Wait. Do we have any stuff I could take to, to negate some fire damage? Can oh, I make anything? Strange, we haven't found anything yet that can do that. I don't know if there is anything like that. Smoldering butterfly? Who's saying that? <laughs> oh, mountain of fire. Make me in your flame. What are you doing, you silly? I'm gonna burn to death here. Uh, I heard your uh, cries for help. Maybe some fire resist. Take it. I'm sure it'll suit you to a tea. A jar? It's a helmet. Cool. 
I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. Head eastward. It's an old saying I Above the lock Holy lock shit, can I heal during this? I don't want to skip through it either. Here lieth the flame of the Oh no. Okay, now we can heal. They they did that intentionally. Perhaps I'll head eastward. Head eastward. There's an old saying I won't think of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of the So yeah, we should have gone here like way earlier. Even before we got to the uh or even before we, we beat the fire giant. Didn't expect message, no. Yeah, our horse takes damage on fire, but we don't. So I wonder if if we go back to uh, like that area where we fought the fire giant, if we'll see Alexander again. And I think there was still a bear, like a big bear in this area that we haven't killed yet. Even though they probably do respawn, I, I just want to kill it so that I can say that I killed everything in the game. There it is, yeah. Oh, fuck you. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I just smacked this around. Shit. Can I get a second to do my move? Should be easier now because we have like full Estus rather than four left that was left after the boss. That's how you start forest fires.
kill these little guys before we fight the bear. Are they throwing volcano pots at us too? Where'd the bear go? There it is. It's a zoo, basically. We got monkeys and bears. Where's the zebras? It's got to be, like, precise, I think. One more. Beast blood and lump of flesh. been here? Craftsman Shack, yeah, we've been here. And yeah, this leads up further into Volcano Manor, I believe. Yeah, okay, so that's done. Okay, let's head... Um... Let's head where we ended off last stream. That was down here somewhere. Here. Loxtella Waterfall Basin. And this is apparently Ronnie's quest, or Rena's quest, or whatever her name is. And uh, we'll see how that progresses. Okay, let's take that marker off the thing so that uh, we don't have to worry about it anymore. Remove all markers. No, 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 no. Just remove this one. Okay, let's talk to Ronnie. Even when I turned my back upon the two fingers, Blythe remained my loyal ally. <laughs> Though he was created a vassal for an Imperium, he was a colossal failure on the part of the two fingers, Blythe and E.G. both. Who's E.G.? Art willing to give too much to me. Yet, they both understand 
What lieth beyond the dark path? That I must betray everything and rid the world of what came before. Ah. Should I add thee to the list? Another one, kind of heart. As kind of heart as they. Uh, can we talk to her some more? This form hath loosened my tongue. I've let slip too much. Forget what thou's heard. Forget. I've let slip to forget. I have no idea what she's talking about. Noticing some slight resistance when walking in the water here. It's almost like we're a bit more encumbered. Are we going to fight Quaylag again? Quaylag part three. Dog? Quaylag? Oh, what? Smith and Stone. Smith and Stone. What or who is that? Oh, wow. It's like the air is filled with blood particles. Oh, Shadow. Thou art the last. Tell the two fingers that Rani the witch cometh to rend thy flesh. Baleful with shadow. A fateful wound. Nair to heal. Roaring like a lion, that's really cool. Our health is going down. Why is our health going down? No, 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 no. Yeah, holy shit, it goes down so fast. That's fucking hardcore. Jesus shit.
Dog. Yeah. Dog. I hope we can just run past these uh, basilisks and not worry about them. Rookies. Whoa, get in there, get in there. We gotta watch out for that. Because I, I keep on thinking that's like a one swing combo, but there's always a follow up. And I've been saying that the whole game pretty much, that there's always a follow-up attack, or there's there's more likely than not a follow-up attack. Uh, when I think it's the end of a combo, there's always one or two more hits. Oh, I should change up some uh, talismans here. Let's put... Maybe we have something sp specific for this fight. So it restores HP? That'd be okay. Depending on how fast it restores it. And that would counter counter uh, counteract our health depleting. Let's try that. Horse. No horse. Oh, that goes down so fast. There's that follow up. It's like, what, a, an upswing and then the jump and attack. There it comes. Gonna get the crit. Any time now, there's a crit. Get in there, yeah. Are you dead? Please be dead. Ooh, almost, almost dead. One more. Yes. My thanks. That was annoying. Holy crap. It was more of a challenge than I envisioned. It was. Now I can finally stand before them.
This is farewell, my dear. Tell Bly and E.G. She. I love them. Discarded palace key. Key to treasure chest for Karian princesses. A key discarded by Lunar Princess Ronnie alongside her very flesh. So do she discarded her flesh too? Opens a treasure chest passed down to Karian princesses. It is said to be found in the Grand Library of Rayo Lucaria with her mother Renala. That's the chest! Holy shit! Okay. Uh, let's head back there. Where do we start? Ansel River downstream? Or Waterfall Basin? I think it was this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, back to Ray Lucaria. That was here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. We could finally open that chest that's been sitting unopened for the last 25 episodes. For the last, like, month and a half. Better be something good. It better not be another key. I don't think it's another key. It's probably... Oh, wait. And I uh, just remember, too, we, we got a helmet. We got a hot helmet. From Alexander. This thing. A jar. A jar that fits cleanly over the head when upturned. Made with pride by Iron Fist Alexander. In a uniquely jar-like gesture of friendship, it boosts the power of throwing pots items. Cool. <laughs> nice. Okay, here's the chest. Dark moon ring, and it is another key. Dark moon ring. Uh, where? It's more like a, a ring. Yeah. A uh, ring of Lunar Princess Ronnie's cold oath. Ring depicting a, le a leaden full moon, symbolic of a cold oath. The ring is supposed to be given by Lunar Princess Ronnie to her consort. Ronnie is an Empyrean, meaning her consort would be uh, would by rights earn the title of Lord. A warning is engraved within. Whoever thou mayest be, take not the ring from this place. The solitude beyond the night is better mine alone. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta look up the word consort. I think I know what it means. I think it's like a companion of sort, but I gotta make sure. Uh, a wife, husband, or companion, in particular the spouse of a rainy monarch. Okay. So, like, the queen to a king, or the king to a queen, or whatever. So, would that mean that we are her consort? The ring is supposed to be given by Lunar Princess Ronnie to her consort, but why wasn't it given? When well, it's just here in the chest. Ronnie is an Empyrean, meaning her consort, us, if I'm guessing right, would by rights earn the title of Lord. We will become the Elden Lord. 
you know, while we're here, I just want to see if we can respect a little bit. Ah, now, is it thy wish to yet again be born sure. anew? Now, bear this sweeting into life anew. Um... Yeah, I think we're good. I don't need to adjust anything. Cool. Be not oh, what did she say? Okay, let's head back. I think it was here. Hermit's Merchant? Where was that again? Or was that here? I should have kept the marker on. Yes. Good. Uh, what if we talk to her again? Can we talk to her again? No. Maybe at the next side of Grace. I can almost smell this place. It smells of sulfur. They're just burning. It tastes like burning. lift oh i don't want to see you i don't want to see where it is going to go up or down i'm guessing it's going to go down hey not too far down either Lake of Rot. Beautiful. So I think this is what we saw in the distance, like a few episodes ago, when we beat, uh, or was it something we could see from up in the consecrated snowfields? from like a boss we haven't beaten yet. Oh man, I'm so confused. Because I know we saw this somewhere. Horse? No horse, are you kidding me? Map, like a rod. Okay, that'll help a little bit. Shit.
Do we have anything that protects against the Scarlet Rot? Big time. Immunity, maybe? Or robustness? Maybe this. Yeah, let's use this one. And I guess now's the time to put on like our rot uh, armor. Okay, for real though, is it immunity or robustness that we have to be worried about? Uh, shit. Help. Over there, I wanna... Okay, so immunity is... The resistance your armor offers to various poisons and raw tire values make it more difficult to succumb to these ailments. ailments. And robustness is resistance to blood loss and frostbite. Okay. So immunity is what we want. I wish we could... Can we see what our immunity is here? Um, 381 over 144? What does that mean? 384 over 144. What if we take this off? 341. Okay. What if we put the talisman just dedicated to immunity. Four thirty one. Okay, so that's better. Okay, what's got the highest immunity? Probably is the mushroom head. Okay, let's go full mushroom. We are immune. The bar's a little bit bigger. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Aeonian butterfly. Oh, we got those already. I thought we did. Okay, is there anything we could take? Because I know that this stops the buildup, but doesn't, like, prevent it. Immunizing white cured meat. I guess it's about time. Uh, we can't make it yet. We can. We can make a few. Let's make... Okay, what do we need? We need golden roa, strip of white flesh, crab eggs, and land octopus ovary. Okay. Yeah, let's make 
All of them. What? I thought we just made a bunch. Did I make invigorating white cured meat? Shit. <laughs> I did. Immunizing white cured meats. Okay, let's have one. Our only one. Oh boy. So it's a race against time. There better not be any enemies down here. So I'd rather use my heals as much as I can before using uh, the bonuses. I bet there's going to be a dragon down here. There's going to be a horrible dragon. I don't even want to fight them. Okay, so that's the tree we could see from the bonfire way over there. That tree right there, if that is a tree. Golden rune. Yeah, I kind of want to head back and uh, refill. Okay, where are we on the map here? So, sort of like there. Is that a house? Oh, what is that? Another Dragonkin soldier. Holy shit, this game hates me. Pressure plate. Whoa! What is that? What is it? What is happening? What does that do? For real, what did that do? What? A bridge? It raised up the thing. Uh, we're out of heals. I can't access my map. I am completely lost. I guess that's how we can like avoid. Uh, the boss and the poison. Oh, we're gonna die. Yeah. What the frick? Okay, yeah, let's explore the right side. What are these, though? Uh... 
Hey, there's another one. That is coming down really slow. But it goes up really fast. Rot grease, perfect. That's just what I need right now. Okay, let's take one of these. Okay. Does it go back down? No. So we've got some more safety. This is good. Be wary of death. Yes, death everywhere. So I hope there's not any loot on that taller structure that I missed. Stone. I don't want to waste my ball assist because you're just going to get poisoned again. Oh shit! No! Get out of there! Oh man, this area sucks. Somber Smith is not seven. Like, there's nothing they could give me here to make this better. Is that an item? Yeah, it is. Black key bolt. At least we don't have trouble, like, running here, because that would suck even more. What does that raise up? Okay. Hopefully we can get up there. We should be able to somehow. Let's take one here. Likely Scarlet Rye. Yeah, no shit. Hopefully there's another set of grace past there. I think so. I think so. Can we make it? Can we get to it? Is that it? No, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. Shit. Preserving body says one of them. Okay. Uh. What's that? Is that an item? Urgent heal. Yeah, let's use that.
Actually, I should equip uh, better heals next time we're out of sight of grace. Uh, take another one. I don't like this. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 22. We can make rot pot, rot grease, and drawstring rot grease. Can I... I can't fast travel. Good. Whose idea was this? Can I make more of those? Ooh. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Oh, don't fall in. Got this one. Mike Shreds, hello. Yeah, I, I think we're doing the quest line. <laughs> I'm just hating this area. How you doing, Mike? Good to see you here. Yeah, we're we're on Ronnie's quest line. Looks like the terrible place you remember. Exactly. <laughs> it's horrible. It's even worse than the consecrated snowfields. I don't know what's worse, like not being able to see where you're going or seeing where you're seeing where you have to go, but it's all fucking scarlet rot and death. And just a lake of A lake of horribleness. I saw you were at the last boss uh, the other night, right? I didn't want to watch too long because I, I didn't want anything spoiled, but did you end up beating it? Oh, no. Get out. Ninety percent sure every platform can be made to without full rot. You think? Yeah, it's, it seems that way. That because we found a few things that can like elevate the platforms. Boom. 
Now we just gotta like be very careful. Shit. Oh man. This is like platforming at its worst. Okay, we got the rot. Let's uh, take one of these. Careful not to get cursed. Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. Do it. Does that work in the water? If that's water? I don't think we got him. You read her. Okay, I think I've heard her name before. End of the Hallig Tree. Yeah, and I, I want to get there at some point today, too. The Hallig Tree, you believe, is technically optional. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. Like, if I had to choose between the Rot and the Death, choose the Rot, because it's like, it's not an instant death. But still, it's like, <laughs> why? Why? Okay, we can summon here. And there was a boss that popped up somewhere. I hate how slow it goes down, but it builds up so fast, though, too. Here, yeah. I bet we could, like, stand on that one platform right there. If you're choosing to do the boss encounter without summons, you must win one versus one or else you won't feel accomplished. Yeah. That's true. It, it does take some of the gratification away if, if you do have a summon. Like, I was getting kind of frustrated with... Uh... Godric, I think? And I summoned. And as soon as I did that, I'm like, shit, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, the Mimic's pretty OP. I don't feel too bad about summoning the Mimic. Because it's like, it's it's the mechanic. Just like, I guess, summoning actual people is, is a mechanic too, but... I feel like with the Mimic, you can make it, like, as OP as you want. Because it's, it's a reflection of your character. Like, your, your, your loadouts and your skills and everything. Behold, running. So I'm guessing we have to go through that. Run, 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 run. Where's that boss now? Your, your mimic was able to solo Moog, nice. You only use it on non-major non encounters. Yeah. Yeah. Calculated encounters. Or cal calculated... Uh... Sum summations. Calculated summoning in. Yeah, I, I gotcha. I'm a mushroom man. I look like the fun guy! <laughs> you just wanted to see and you had to kill kill yourself in a blood pool to stop the mimic from winning. Yeah. I've done that myself too where like I, I practice a boss off camera and then when it's like obvious that I'm going to beat it I just like either quit out or just kill myself and then save it for, for camera. I'm, I'm glad that at least they allow you to do that.
got your mimic still got nearly one shot. There's some fights like that NPC fight earlier uh, in this area was kind of frustrating, but it wasn't too bad. We we killed it in like three or four tries. Have you found that uh, most boss move sets there's always like one extra move that you're not expecting? Because I've certainly found that. It's like, always be prepared for one more. Highlight Tree will frustrate me like a lot? Awesome. Can't wait. So that's what, like, three or four frustrating areas in this game now? The game started off so beautifully. Limgrave and Liurnia, now there's a literal lake of... Rots that'll slowly eat you away. Yeah, they have a lot more variation, and I found that like they the bosses share a lot of move sets. Maybe that's like intentional. I'm, I'm sure it's intentional, but like built into the lore because they seem to be or some bosses seem to be like copies of others. Hey, there's stairs. Should we take the, the fast way down the elevator or the escalator or the stairs? There's that side of grace. Is there anything over there? <laughs> the Omen Boys, <laughs> Marget, Morgoth, and Moog. Oh, man. Grace. Oh, Grace. Finally. Okay, this reminds me of, like, Lost Isolith. Demon Ruins. Like the area right before Demon Fire Sage. Grand Cloister? Is that what it said? Yeah, Grand Cloister. And I think it'd be easier to go back and fight the boss from that side of Grace than the first one. That's a lot of tears. There's stuff down there, too. So, okay, to get to the end of the game, we just have to progress through Furumazula, right? That's, like, the mandatory way. Grand Cloister. I do want to get to the final boss today. But I'm not expecting to beat it, I just want to get to it. Except the rot. The rot seems just terrible. Golden rune. It's on par with around Altus or so. Okay, yeah, like all we got to Altus like a month ago. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. I guess we drop down there. No. Or maybe... Oh, we dropped there. Okay, I see it. I see it. We could summon here, too. 
<laughs> yeah, the rod has no level bias, exactly. It doesn't care. It doesn't care if you're level 1 or 1,000. It'll get you. Just like death. It doesn't matter if you're a year old or 100 years old. It'll get you. Okay, that's something here. Unlike poison and bleed, do you think rot is percent damage based? Really? Like, based on your health. Hmm. Yeah, let's aggro this guy. That's not fight in the rot. I hear a rumbling. I hear a rumbling. What's this now? What the frick? Another. What is that? What am I looking at? Is that a ulcerated tree spirit? Okay, that's. Get rid of that. We're still getting more rot. It's the thing that makes sense. You can eat poison and bleed ticks, but just leave rot on you and get wrecked fast. Exactly. Did we roll in it? That's why it's it's uh, coming up faster. That makes sense. What the? Holy sh! Everything's trying to kill us. Okay. Hey, it's almost dead. Go, go, gadget, go. Holy shit, don't grab me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, we're dead. A rot almost pulled up. Now it's down here. We're safe. We're safe. I think we're safe. Holy shit. Okay, that's unnecessary. <laughs> Can we do anything with these extra golden seeds? Yeah, it just adds up faster when we roll. It's a cool mechanic, but yeah, it sucks, but it's, it's a cool, like, attention to detail. Did I do the Millicent quest line? Millicent, Millicent. I... Oh, yes, yes! Um... I gave her the, the golden... sewing needle, I think. Why? Would she have given us something that might help? Yeah, the red-haired one-armed girl. Yeah, it, by, uh... Uh, Celia, yeah. I want to talk to her again before going to Halley Tree? Okay. Does she give us something useful? Oh, I thought that was an enemy for a second. We're losing health? Yeah, we are. Golden Rune. Okay. And it has a heavy section in, in the Halley Tree. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I completed as as much as I could at the time. I can't remember who I talked to last, like uh 
What's her face? Millicent or or Gary, I think his name was. The, the dude who sent us on the quest. Another sight of grace would be awesome right now. Oh, she moves to Altus after that? Okay. What are they worshipping here? What? They make cool little, like, buggy noises. Are they still alive? Yeah, I've, I've explored Lanedell or uh, Altus pretty uh, fully. Although there's still probably some, some stuff we've missed. And daggers, all right, more of those. I've never used those. Maybe we should start using them as like a ranged weapon. Okay, let's see what's over here. Another coffin? Is that like a reference to uh, when we beat the gargoyles that we took a coffin up? A waterfall? Rest in coffin. Okay, we could go down. Let's before we do that, let's see what's over here. That chest is uh, suspiciously lit up. Did he come back here? He never went in. Yeah, I don't blame you. This place is horrible. And yeah, if you're at the end boss, then it should be no problem. Except for the rot. Scorpion Stinger. Nice. That's probably got rots on it. Uh, Yeah, it's a dagger. Cause a Scarlet Rot buildup. Sweet. Dagger fashioned from a great scorpion's tail. We're going to fight a scorpion army. Listening with Scarlet Rot. A ceremonial tool used by heretics crafted from the relic of a sealed utter god. Skilled repeating thrust. Twist to build power, then unleash a flurry of thrusts. D strength, C dex. C strength, 12 dex. So not a lot of requirement. That's cool that we have a dagger with uh, Scarlet Rot, though. You're told it contained an item that you couldn't care about and it was way lower level at the time. Okay. Yeah, I guess it all depends on on what what build you're going for. And like at this time, like I don't really need or want a Scarlet Rot dagger, but it's I'll add it to the collection. Okay, let's see where that coffin takes us. Hopefully somewhere not as red. Hopefully somewhere better. But I doubt it.
Down we go. How do we get pushed off anyway? We're just like <laughs> thrusting ourselves in the coffin to inch our way forward. Like scooting ourselves forward. Okay, it's blue now instead of red. Are we back at the beginning of this level now? Seems familiar, but not quite. Hmm. <laughs> you saw that you had to fight eight of them at the same time, and you're like, is this worth it? They're like, no, no. I, w I would probably say the same thing, that... Like, I'm only, I'm only exploring everything just for, like, completion's sake. Uh, do they ever explain the floating coffin highways? I don't know. I haven't seen them explain it yet. Maybe it's just a throwback to Dark Souls 2. Because you could, like, get in a coffin a few times in that game, and it would either, would either change, your, change your sex or just take you to another location. Okay, this reminds me of, like, a Skyrim dungeon with a bunch of, like, glowing mushrooms around it. Yeah, it makes no sense. Unless the coffin is, like, meant to be some kind of transport in the afterlife. Maybe. Oh, joy. No sight of grace either. Four Estes left. Is this the coffin we came from? Is that the bloodstain we came from? <laughs> yeah, the Skyrim Dutch and those bug armor things and the blind guys that overran the dwarven things. Yeah, the Falmer. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they kind of do look similar. The snow elves. Yeah. Magic. Life. Okay, there better be a stake of America. Beautiful. That guy's contemplating it too. He's like, shit, should I go in? Uh, we can see below our health. Oh, I never realized that. I guess we don't have a, a stake of America yet. Whoa. Whoa. Astel. Natural born of a void again? Didn't we fight? this earlier? I can't remember if I beat it. I think I did. Wow. Holy shit. Why aren't I hitting? What's going on? Oh. 
It's on the far right side. Oh, I missed it. Of oh, my buffs. Oh, I missed it. Oh, there is a stake, America. Okay. That's the big one. <laughs> yeah, I'll like. I'll look out for it. This this uh, icon. Oh, there. Okay, I see it. Like the very last icon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I need to get my runes back because that's like almost a full level. I'm thinking we should change up our armor next time. Just don't. Be gone. It's got one of those handlebar mustaches, too. It's got two must. It's got four mustaches. It's got the whole solar system on its tail, too. Oh, music. Yeah. Holy crap. Uh, okay. Oh, what? That's epic. Thank God for shield. I hope there's not another second phase. Oh yeah, big hit right there. What? No, 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 no. Come on, mimic to the rescue. Die. Fuck. Hit it. Fuck. No, heal. That was bullshit. Major lag on my... What? Did we get it? <laughs> Did we get it? I think we did, right? It counts? Did we get it? Got the trophy, got the remembrance. I think we got it. Yeah, that's like exactly what happened to you at Castle Soul with that boss. Holy shit. <laughs> You've had that when exploring and you just see that appear and you cry inside a little bit. Uh, sorry, what'd you see? The, the Snake of America? Or you don't see it? Oh, no, no way I'm going to forget my runes. Like, no way. No Fucking way. That's probably two levels in there. Reminds me also of Renala's boss fight room. Like a planetarium type thing. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like you see the snake appear and then you know you're about to fight something big. Yeah. Or it's like if you're in a if you're, you're about to get a, like a bunch of stuff, like items or bullets in a in a shooter or something, you know you're about to fight a boss. Okay, so let's check out what we got.
Is that keys? I keep forgetting where they all end up. Wouldn't be a weapon. No. Oh, there it is. Uh, Remembrance of the Natural Born. Is that it? Yeah, Remembrance of Astal, Natural Born of the Void, hewn into the Ur Tree. Uh, a malformed star born in the lightless void far away. Once destroyed an eternal city and took away their sky. Unfalling star of ill omen. Do they mean a falling star of ill omen? Unfalling star. Hmm. Once destroyed an eternal city. Not the eternal city. An eternal city. So either... Either Noxtella or Nokron. It took away their sky. I'm so confused. You're going to watch a bunch of lore videos after you finish the game. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, I really want to watch Vati Vidya's lore video uh, once I beat the game. And I, I might even do a reaction video to it. Like, record myself and talk about it while we do it. I started watching it. I got like 15 seconds into it. But then he started talking about Outer Gods and and like... Something crashing to th to the lands between them. Like, nope, I'm out. I'm not watching that yet. <clears throat> I like the Ronnie and Millicent quest because you can feel like you understand them quite a bit. Yeah, I'm still lost. Like, more than not. Um, let's go Dex, I guess. I guess Millicent would be the most simple to understand because she's what? She had the Scarlet Rod and she just wanted some, some cure. As far as I can understand. Uh, we might be able to get a second level too. 133, so what we need is 160,000 more roughly. Oh, we don't have enough. For Ronnie, you still have no idea what's actually happening, but you like you, you feel invested in it. Yeah, me too, me too. Because there was one item that we got. It it said that, or it implied that we are her consort, which is like a companion to a king or queen or the the ruling person. So if she's a queen. Would that make us her king if we're a male character and, and queen if we're a female character? Okay, this is going to bl blow my mind, isn't it? Once we take this back up. Where's it going to go? I'm guessing back up to, like, Loxtella or Nokron somewhere. Deep Ainsel Well. Moonlight Altar. I think I know where we are. I read up about this a little bit. You thought you were doing something wrong when you tried talking to the doll? Like, you tried talking to it from your inventory? So I think we are... Yeah, we're up here. We're in the part of the Yurnia that we saw earlier that I was wondering how to get up to you. But now we're here. Deep Insel Well. It's 
Is that a snake? Okay, I kind of just want to follow the path until we find a grace. Oh, 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 holy crap, that's beautiful. Wow. Wow. Oh, at the grace, because it wasn't doing anything. Hmm. Yeah, I, I had that problem too where it just wasn't saying anything, but I just had to like keep keep pressing the talk button, I think. It's all wooden and shaded and everything. Of course. Of course. <laughs> you annoy her into responding, exactly. It's like you keep tapping her shoulder until she finally responds. Yeah, I think we might be over leveled for this area, but that's okay. <laughs> you hate these dudes because just they just teleport away. Yeah, I hate them too. <laughs> Is it the same guy that just keeps teleporting? Get the mimic in there. You can hunt them down. Oh yeah, I, I don't think I mentioned it on stream, but I did fully upgrade my mimic here. My mimic tier. Yeah, plus 10 is, is absolutely nuts. Have we been down there? Yes, so that's the converted tower. I forget what was happening there. Okay. So I wonder if we go back down there, we'll still see the moonbeams. Probably not. What was that? <clears throat> okay, let's check out this, uh... What was it? Moonbeam... Atacombs or something? Folk ruins. What? Holy shit! I don't know why I like stood there. What was I expecting? <laughs> Works as intended, I guess so. Okay, let's change my uh, 
my armor again. I think I had on... Which talisman did I have on? The, the, uh... The backstabbing one. Yeah, this one. Assassin's Crimson Dagger. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get the shoe mount for those, like, Last of Us cosplay? <laughs> uh, I honestly don't remember where I got it from. But yeah, it does look like the Last of Us cosplay. I'm a Cordycep. Um, yeah, I... I Got it a while ago. I have no idea. Like, and that applies to most anything in this game. Like, if you ask me where I got so-and-so, it's probable that I... I don't remember. Yeah, I look like a bloater, exactly. <laughs> An arc? Okay. Oh! I wonder if that would hurt us if we, like, fell on our head. Yeah, I'm sure he would know. Yeah, he was, uh, he was in here last night. I played a bit of Dark Souls and he was hanging out for a little bit. Hoping to see him at some point again tonight, too. Magic Grease. He's a FromSoft Encyclopedia. Sweet. Yeah, there's tons to remember and know. Like, if, if you ask me anything about Dark Souls or Bloodborne, I could probably answer. But this game, it's still too fresh and... and, uh... not, like, ingrained in my brain yet. You'll do Bloodborne next. You think you actually know very little about it. Nice. Yeah, I think you'll enjoy Bloodborne. This game has, like, elements of Bloodborne in it, but Bloodborne is something entirely different. It's a lot more, like, faster-paced, and, and you can actually use guns. Like, it's not like a, a third-person shooter. You, you use guns more like parrying. And it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a great, beautiful game. You know, the Cleric Beast and the dude you fight in a graveyard. Okay. Yeah, there, there's there's a lot of good stuff in Bloodborne. I would say, like, this game, Bloodborne and Dark Souls, they all occupy a spot in my top ten video games of all time. Is this a Moon Dragon? Jimmy the Moon Dragon? Glintstone Dragon Adula. Holy shit. Remember this guy? Not really. Uh, you know what's more dodge than block parry like Dark Souls is hero? Yeah, dodge and like avoiding damage rather than blocking. Did we see this dragon before? Remember the dragon that ran away outside Ronnie's tower way back? No. Was there a dragon that ran away? I must have missed it or I just can't remember. Ah, uh, wait. Vaguely. I think I do remember, actually. Yes.
Wait, I can get on my horse. We don't hit it as hard, but we're a lot more mobile. Yeah. Uh, when we would have met him, or met her the first time after beating the Magic Tree Sentinel. There's a Magic Tree Sentinel? Dude was there, you smacked him a few times and it flew away. Yeah. That sounds familiar. I don't remember... The castle dungeon with all the hands. Yeah, yeah, the uh, Karian Manor, or no, yeah, Karian Manor, right? Uh, where was it? Here? Yeah. Yeah, Karian Manor. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I do remember the dragon. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I do. I do. So this is where he ends up. This is him, all right. He's been waiting for us. <clears throat> What's past here, though? Okay, let's rest here. Cathedral of Manus Celis? Manus. Manus. First of the Abyss. Oh man, we're getting these back now. Good. We're getting back more than I ever used. I think I missed one. Yeah, like at least two dragons just fly away and, and retreat. And I guess, yeah, that's true. They are supposed to represent power and respect and like... Uh, prehistory. Yeah, yeah, the one at the beginning of Altus, yeah. Which we fought somewhere else. Which, again, I don't remember. Cathedral of Manus Celis. Yeah, I gotta look up Celis. Because I'm guessing that's Latin. Or something. Maybe Celestial? Maybe... That's the same, like, root? Uh, Heavenly. Celis, as a girl's name, is of Latin origin, meaning heavenly. Cool. Celis. Okay, so uh, where do we go after this? Like, I'm gonna fight the dragon. But I just wanna see where else we can go. Did I do via quest line? Uh, I th think so. You... Uh, like, I, I last talked to her in the Deep Root Depths. And I don't remember what happened. I know she, like, she gave us a hug again, and then, and that's it. <laughs> okay. Nice. 
There's more after that? Okay, sweet. Sweet. Yeah, we found her... Um, here. Was that her? Yeah. Yeah, we fought a boss here. And she ended up there after. Still no grace marking the way. I guess... I don't know if we'll see our firekeeper again. Or our... our our maiden. Let's go fight a dragon. Just appears again. Oh, there's just more, like, reload die, uh, area? Okay. We staggering? No. Yeah, I always find it funny when the Mimic does, like, a big yell like that, a big special move, when the enemy is nowhere nearly close by. Stuff that you won't have completed without detox, yeah. <laughs> He's got the whole game mapped out in his head. Headshot. Oh, we missed that. And the dragon disappears. an item back here. Where was that item? Yeah, exactly. Talk to this person, reload, talk to that person, go there, pick that up, open that chest. There's that item. Oh, come, we can pick it up. Yeah, that, that'd be very, very bad that if, if they, like, when they retreat, if their health reset, that'd be bullshit. I'm so, I'm so glad that doesn't happen then. Wow, just killed my horse. Right there. I wonder if it's worth it to go back and kill that boss in the the Lake of Scarlet Rot. Oh, what's that? I think it was a good call. If, if boss is completely reset, I'm going out of bounds. Of world, it would be terrible. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm sure people take advantage of that to like cheese them a little bit. Okay, yeah, we almost got it. Oh, don't fall. Ho, oh, oh. ho. No, cut. Wing cut. Dead dragon. Under forty-four thousand runes. Another dragon heart. A Dula's Moonblade. 
sweet. It's a sorcery. Do this moonlight. Thank you. Oh yeah, like one of my friends told me that he he uh, beat the first tree sentinel that way, where he hit it a few times, ran away, and it it would like despawn, and he'd come back to it and just keep hitting it over and over again. Uh, sorcery of Adula, the Glintstone Dragon, conjures a cold magic greatsword, then delivers a sweeping blow that launches a blade-like projectile of frost. The sorcery can be cast repeatedly. Adula, a devourer of sorcerers, was bested by Ronnie and subsequently swore a knightly oath to her dark moon. Hmm. 32 int. Lots of cool sounding spells that I will not use in this playthrough. Maybe the next one? Uh, before we do anything, let's level up, though. Okay, let's explore around here a bit more. <clears throat> Is that Ray Lucaria? Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> He's strong. Swing big weapon. What the book? <laughs> Club need no book. <laughs> big stick. No book. You got eight int? Nice. You can barely lace up your boots in the morning. <laughs> you still tie them together once in a while. But at least at least your big ass sword hits super hard. <laughs> uh, I also know the path for the quest if you need general direction. Thank you. Uh not yet. I wanna explore a bit. Yeah, once once I get stuck, then I'll I'll ask for directions or like where do I go next, but not yet. Uh I will ask though, are we nearing the end of our quest line? Is this like this area is is it the end? Yeah, exactly. I'll 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 make certain to ask. It is. Okay, cool. I wonder if we could see or like drop to a, a bit of a lower spot. Probably not though. What tower is that? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I, I would drop down there, but I don't know if we can get back up. Like, I know we can fast travel, but... Turtle. Yeah, that's a dog, right? Multiple dogs. Are those the Teenage Mutant Ninja dogs? There's Leonardo right there, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo right there. That's the four Teenage Mutant Ninja Dogs. Oh yeah, looks like we can get back up over there. Sweet. Okay, so let's drop down here. Splinters of the Dragon, exactly. A giant rat. <laughs> exactly. I will leave you be. It's your lucky day. Hmm. 
Good. We need more raw fruits. And there's five. Six. So there's one up there. So that's three, four, five, six. Two are imposters. Likely dog. God. Whoa. Is it coincidence that dog is God spelled backwards? I think not. Message. Yeah, people hunting for secrets, exactly. Um, like a bow, just a, f a regular bow. Do we have one of those? Or a wave. Will there be two exclamation points? Don't fall off. You're here. Let me delete that. I just want one exclamation point. Oh, there's two messages. Fucker. I did it. Okay, let's head her back up. <clears throat> what a change in scenery, too, from like that horrible red scarlet rot to uh, this beautiful. Magic sky. Beast ahead. Oh. Another boss fight? A giant dog. Yeah, you love when people troll putting a message in a very hard spot to trick you into thinking there's a secret. Exactly. There's a lot of that in this game. Where there's like messages in front of walls that you think are illusory walls, but they're not. They're just regular walls. I hear a crystal. And lots of try finger butthole. Like, like it was funny the first two times, but now it's not funny anymore. Because it's like, it's it's predictable. What does it say? I bet it's going to be a, a fucking troll message rather than a, a helpful message. Could this be a horse or a crab? No, it's a dog. They haven't been paying attention. That's a dog. Okay, so where are we on the map? We're here. And the road is clear now, too. Cool. It's a horse dog. Behold, it's a horse dog. Behold, horse. Horse dog, dog horse. Is that a cat? It's a cat, right? Watch me die to a cat. Love that AoE. Big slams. The <laughs> cat is woke. <laughs> Golden eye cat. How was that? Haven't been there yet. Is that little critter making that sound? Oh, it was a cave? 
Is that a cave? No. Looked like a cave for half a second. Okay, so I'm guessing we go here. But let's go here. Even if this is not the way to go, I still want to see what's here. Sights of Grace are cool. Oh, another one of these. Altar south. Is there an altar north? That's probably an Everjail. Or the altar north. Seek three great wise beasts. Okay, so we got to find three dogs. And these are getting more tricky and tricky. Like, there was one puzzle where there was one dog, uh, like, hidden in a little lake. Or it wasn't even like, it was like a little body of water. And there was one, it, it was like, in a tree somewhere. That's right. Chalona's Rise. You must solve the puzzle to enter. You don't think you've done this? Okay. We will experience it for the first time. Both of us, together. I wonder if that's a clue to where the, the three wise beasts are. That penguin yabbin. Probably not. And uh, we encountered another one of these in Kaelid that I haven't completed yet either. One? The one on the far east side? I think so. Yeah, it was like... Uh... It was after... Right near the... Here. Yeah, so here. Yeah, this one. I think it was this one. Yeah, because I remember we fought the gargoyle here, and then we fought the dragon on the bridge here. And then we came here. Yeah. <coughs> okay, does that say two left? No, see. Three wise. Beasts. I wonder if that was one of them that we just killed. Two? Three? Would that be it? Probably not. Oh, there's many more. No, these wise beasts are like glowing blue. Yeah, that's it, wasn't it? Throwing. Holy shit, there's one. They're huge. So maybe there is one on that side where that talking penguin thing was. Whoa. Something incredible. Oh, that is pretty something incredible. Yeah, similar to the other tower, except these turtles seem to be gigantic. Or sorry, these dogs. Let's get the terminology right. These are dogs. <laughs> Is there one up there? No. What 
What, don't we be dog? It's exactly. Exactly. That's something. No. no dog ahead. Tarnished. I will look anyway. Horse. Hmm. Ah, no. I was like, ah, shit. <laughs> I gotta upvote that. That's a good note. That made me laugh. Well, I guess we gotta go back. Ah, down. That was close, man. I feel like there's something up with this. And the turtle is, or sorry, the dog again. It's a dog, right? That is just out of sight. Horse. That was a butt clench, absolutely. I was certain that we wouldn't be able to make it back across, but luckily, luckily we did. Okay, so let's look for other messages on this side of the cliff, maybe. Or I wonder if it only shows up if we're a certain distance away from it or close to it. I'd expect these these skulls to like hold ever increasing the more powerful runes, but no, that's always just rank one. Time for horse. Yeah, it's always level one runes. Which maybe makes sense if you think about it like... Like that's all that's left of the, the body. It just all rotted away except the skull. So it's like a, a very weak warrior maybe that just... Died a long time ago. Yeah, even the later areas like the snowfield and the halic tree and everything. Well, I haven't been to the halic tree yet, but... If, if, if it hasn't changed by now, I doubt it will. Yeah, the Grave Guards offer more powerful runes, but not, not these Scullies. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one, like, actually in a tree somewhere, but it just blends in perfectly with the sky. So it's very hard to see. Okay, if I was a dog, where would I hide? On a cliffside somewhere. My Chalona. My Chalona. <laughs> I think we're here, right? Yeah, if, if that dog can, like, cling to the side of a cliff, then... You can probably climb a tree if the tree was strong enough. Like, 
that right there, that moon, it, it kind of has the same shade as the dog, but... Well, let's try it. Oh, didn't think so. I haven't seen any other messages either. Like looking at the top of those rock pillars, yeah. So I think that f that first one had like a whitish outline. Hmm. There's blood stains on it, so people probably tried to climb it and fell. I doubt it'd be like on that side. Yeah. On top of the the building maybe? Hmm. And you would think that because they're bigger it'd be easier to see, but no. Just more well hidden. Yeah, anything we can hit with a with a bow is fair game. If if our bow has the range. Liar ahead. Was the message a liar? Praise the comfort. Praise the bird. I doubt it'd be like really far down there. Remember how well hidden things how well hidden things that are meant to be found are. Now remember, th these things uh, these are things they intentionally are hiding. Exactly. Yeah, if, if things that are meant to be found, if they're so well hidden, and these things are meant to be hidden, so yeah, they're extra <laughs> extra hidden. My Chirona. Yeah, I don't think it'd be, like, that far away, though. Bound the skies, hello. Your friends have you going to a damn sanatorium at 2 a.m. right now? Do you mean a sanitarium? Sounds spooky, yeah. I wouldn't want to go there, at, at, <laughs> especially at 2 a.m. That turtle almost got me. Oh, sorry, dog. Again, this is a dog. Yeah, like a, like a, a mental hospital? Yeah, I just have the one to three, yeah. Probably have a heart attack before anything gets to you. Just, uh... 
make sure to make sure to explore alone. Uh you don't need a light because because there's lights everywhere. It'll be sun up soon enough. You don't need a light. Uh, make sure to wear earphones and listen to your favorite music for uh, for the for the vibes. You'll be fine. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, splitting up is more is better. You cover more ground that way. Yeah, leave the lights of protection in the car. Exactly, and 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 park like far away. Because because half the adventure is like walking to it. Yeah, and be sure to follow the sounds. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and like, if a monster is chasing you. Remember that you have two choices. Either hide under a bed or hide in a closet. Actually, three, three choices. Hide under a bed, hide in a closet, or just run away. Yeah, you want to make sure your phone is like a 10% or less. Because you're not going to be using it anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, the first dog we found here was like on this cliffside. Exactly. You don't have to outrun the monster. You just have to outrun your friends. If you outrun your friends, you'll be fine. <laughs> Actually, though, that does sound kind of fun. Like, joking aside, I would... If I had, like, a few friends to, to go and explore, like, a... It is abandoned, isn't it? Yeah. Pay no attention to, like, the old, old wise man standing up front that says, Do not enter. Turn back at once. Is that a thing? Oh. Make sure to like bring a pot and a like a, a wooden stick and bang on that because because if there are ghosts and spirit, I know that they're afraid of that, and they'll be like, "Oh shit, let's hide and not bother these these." Smart and and more powerful people than us. I think we should come back here later. Maybe there's a turtle here. Oh shit. I mean a dog, it's a dog. Yeah, if you find any, like, dolls or, like, old mementos, make sure to, like, not respect them. Because because the people that it belonged to are most certainly dead or they don't care anymore. Otherwise, if they did care, they would have taken it with them. And uh, make sure to, like, explore any, any unmarked graves because there's usually treasure in, in unmarked graves. Yeah, bring them home for your dog, exactly. Speaking of dogs, we're looking for two more big dogs. Try circling around. Map. Is it like... Around this whole area? <laughs> That's literally the pot of poltergeist. Kind of, yeah. Cause like how did how did it start? The girl was like she saw that the TV was talking to her, and then she put her like hand up to it, and then that allowed the spirit to enter from the TV into into her body, and then that's the house, right? Family guy spoofed poltergeist? I didn't hear of that. That sounds awesome. Yeah, the house built on a burial. Yeah, yeah. That movie scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Like, that one scene where, uh, like, one of the helpers, he, like, he goes to get some food in the middle of the night, and then there's, like, worms and shit all over it, and then he goes to the bathroom, and then he washes his face, and then he looks in the mirror, and then his face starts melting, and he starts, like, ripping his flesh off. That's classic horror. 
Oh, and the, and the Family Guy Peter brings a skull home. Okay. I haven't seen that one. I'll have to check it out. What's that? Is there a dog up there? Wait. No. You want to eventually go to Jazzland in New Orleans? It's a haunted Six Flags? Really? That sounds awesome. Like an old abandoned amusement park? That'd be fucked up and scary as shit. Apparently, we have a few haunted hotels here in my city that I haven't gone to yet, but I would like to someday. Meg's ass is the portal out of the TV. Oh, no. <laughs> if Meg's ass is the way out, I think I'd rather stay in. <laughs> Yeah, New Orleans is is a very creepy place in general. That's absolutely right. Just like all all the history and the voodoo stuff and and the flood, of course, that happened with Katrina. Yeah. Oh. What the fuck? Dog. That's a real dog. That's no, this is a turtle. This is a turtle. Shh. You actually have an abandoned mental hospital in your city. Nice. <laughs> You're Canadian too? Yeah, I'm I'm Canadian too. Yeah, the ghosts just say sorry, eh? <laughs> and they continue to to drink their Tim Hortons. <laughs> Definitely demons walking around the daily for sure. Oh, I'm not scared. I'm I'm like freaked out a little bit, but nah, it's okay. Yeah, where are you, Mike, if you don't mind me asking? I'm in Winnipeg. London, Ontario, nice. Yeah, they take you out to Tim's, they buy you a nice coffee, and then you go snowmobiling. <laughs> uh, how do we get back there? We have to go all the way around? Who earns to that? I wonder if there was like a nice uh I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah, nice double double, eh? <laughs> I I don't get like sugar in my coffee anymore. I just go like two two milk. Two milk is the way to go. Is that a chair? Kind of looks like the profile of a chair from like this way. Like, okay, above my head right now is the the armrest, and this, this is the seat above my head here, and then that's the back of the chair right there. You do the opposite, black with sugar, but you do love me a double double. Yeah. Could this be a chair? Yeah. Like, I rarely get sugar in my coffee. Maybe, like, literally 1% of the time I get sugar in my coffee. Uh, message. That's a good idea. Could this be a chair? If chair is, like, 
a selectable word. You're watching Scooby-Doo on the radio? On the way to live their life. How do you how do you watch something on the radio though? Yeah. I just I just like stopped drinking sugar in my coffee just because it would I thought it would make me lose weight, but it really hasn't. It's just it's still good. Uh yeah, things maybe. Could this be a message? Could this be an Elden Ring? Hmm. It's a touchscreen head unit with a CD player. Okay, so it's it's like built into your vehicle. I think. Could this be a something? <clears throat> oh yeah. Sugar and caffeine are both absolutely addictive drugs. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's crazy how people will, like, go out and spend three bucks on coffee when they could just make it at home. Could this be a dung? No. Could this be a fort? Or a campsite? Could this be a... Let's go fort. <laughs> yeah, weed is dangerous. But sugar, here. Here you go. Have all you want. Exactly. That's, that's logical, right? The people in charge, they have the logic. <laughs> uh, could this be a port? Do we have like a head scratching gesture? Wait. Could this be? I've heard of such great things. Could this be a port? <laughs> oh, you live straight edge. Cool. Don't drink soda. Man, good for you. I've been trying to quit soda for like 10 years. I've cut back a lot, but I still crave it. Time to time. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, uh, yeah, where's my runes? We gotta get those runes back. Okay, so that's where the turtles were. That's where we started this whole mess. I guess we go back down here. Hey, look, it's another fort. Oh, 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 is that death? Yeah, I've seen you drink quite a, f a lot of energy drinks on stream, Mike. It's a. Uh, that that's a hard thing that I, I I drank like not a lot of them back in the day, but a, f a few a week, like two or three a week. And I found that generally I was more tired after drinking them than before. And like it maybe maybe go to the washroom a lot more. It was, it was just the negatives outweigh the positives, I guess. Do the two or three a day? Holy shit, dude. Yeah, man, like... Uh, I had a co-worker maybe... 15 years ago. Uh, I used to work in, like, a window and door factory. And... He was, like, 50, 55. He would drink literally... Three or four, like... Bigger Nas energy drinks... Every day. And then... Balance it out with, like, actual fucking Percocets. And he died of a heart attack when he was, like... 55, so... Be careful, dude. Yeah. You don't even like carbonated water. 
And you grow hunt everything you eat. Oh, that's that sounds awesome and, and fun and healthy. Just have a caffeine uh, addiction. Doesn't have to be energy drinks. Yeah, like I I might have a, a caffeine addiction myself. Like I gotta have coffee in the morning. And usually after dinner too, I have a cup of coffee. I find that like as soon as I have a sip of coffee in the morning, that brain fog just disappears. Could this be a jump? Oh. Besides that caffeine you eat and live very healthy. Well, that's good. You get headaches if you don't have enough. Yeah, I used to get headaches if I... If I didn't have, like, Pepsi. Now it's okay. I guess I just kind of slowly wean myself off it. Here's my runes. Oh man, this fox sucks. Can I heal? Let me let me heal. Can, it, can we cheese it? We can cheese it from here. Oh, he's coming through. What's this? Smithing Stone 8? Fall off a cliff. It's a magic box. Holy fuck. That was not good. Tough tail for tail weapon. Foxy tail weapon. Oh, oh. Again? Holy shit. You've got a hundred acres to your land. Awesome. And you have another hundred in your hunting club land that you all donated, uh, but you still technically own it. Cool. And you live eight miles from the main road. So you're like... Not in the middle of nowhere, but just like... You're living off the land. That's, that's uh, commendable. That's awesome. Yeah, there's tons of caffeine and soft drinks. Like, I, I know some guys who would drink, like, soft drinks in the morning instead of coffee. Yeah, that's true. If he's pressing a level 8 uh, smithing stone. Man. And, like, I've been drinking more orange juice. Just chop a can of orange juice lately instead of, like, Pepsi. But... That still has a ton of sugar in it, too. Oh, really? In the Halley Tree, you buy just seven. Wow. Yeah, is the internet pretty good? Starlink? Is that some kind of router? <laughs> I really don't know. Yeah, it's Elon Musk's internet. He's just like straight up living in the cloud. Wait, I thought I heard something. Could this be a dog?
Yeah. You hear that? I bet it's up there. The Tesla that's an orbit gives us the engine. <laughs> the sun is actually just the, the Tesla. Is it actually Starlink? Is this low orbit satellite internet? Really? I need to upgrade my internet. Not fast enough for, for streaming like high quality. Yeah, that's one tower where we uh, fought the, the fox. So was this was this a tower with the the turtles or the dogs? I'm sorry. It's not great for gaming, but uh, or anything, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because you got to have some internet. Elon now owns the car internet and Twitter world. Jeez, what's next? The, the cheeseburger world? It makes rockets, so now he can own those things on other planets. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't own... Uh, the cars, internet, and and Twitter in space yet. Space Twitter coming soon. Coming soon to a smartphone near you. Did he invent PayPal? Really? Holy shit! This guy's done everything. He, want to, he wants to colonize Mars by nuking it? What good would nuking it do? Just like... Killing all... Forms of life and starting over? What is this? Oh, these... Crystallians... Can fuck right off. He sold it for a very large sum. Man, that guy is so... So fucking smart and rich. Like, making one thing gain value, selling that, and buying something else. Like, he just bought, bought Twitter for, what, $43 billion? Oh, no. I'll hide here. Sold up for five billion. Holy shit. So that's just a drop in the bucket. Smith has sold seven. I would imagine that was the jumping off point for Tesla and SpaceX. Yeah. Like using using the money to, to invest and to, to develop something else. And then once, once that becomes big enough, selling that off and just keeps the cycle going. So who's the, uh, the, the father, son, and the Holy Spirit? We got Bill Gates... Elon Musk and uh, Amazon boy. What's his face? Our boss, actually, if we're thinking about it. Since he owns, or since Amazon owns Twitch. Don't knock him off the cliff.
He sold PayPal in 2000 for 1.5 billion to eBay. So eBay owns, owns uh, PayPal. Wow. Like, did I just have like three billion, and then I'll just get out of your hair, and never you bother, no, never bother you again, Elon Musk? Three billion. That's all I want. We don't make it five. Five billion. I won't call you again. Big jump. Shit, wolf. Oh my god. Okay, one more hit. Die. Oh. Yeah, so just that for 20 years inflation, so what would that be like? Probably closer to 3 billion now. Man, that was close. Shit. I'm finding that more bosses are just getting more annoying now than just like, oh, this is a cool boss. Even though that wasn't a boss, it was just like a mini boss. You got the stream on walking through this eerie hallway. If you get killed by a ghost, they're going to enjoy the rest of the stream. <laughs> well, I hope you don't get killed by a ghost. But, uh... Hello! Hello, everybody in... In around where Bound the Skies is. Hello, hello. Please be kind to my friend Bound the Skies. Do not hurt him. Keep him safe, please. It sounds like a prayer, but I, I don't mean to, to have it sound like a prayer. <laughs> if you find a vending machine, check out the snacks, because those could be some tasty snacks. I hear, I think, a giant turtle. Can't really have bosses hit harder than one shot. So after that, uh, the move becomes the next hard thing. Yeah, yeah. Like they they can't overkill you. I'll probably just like if I can't find the the dogs, I'll just come back another time and finish that off. Did we get all three here? And there's that animal making the sound again. Uh, please don't try to keep like boss names that I haven't seen yet. Uh, don't don't like spoil boss names yet because I haven't I haven't been to the boss yet. But you saw someone beat her with the spoon wheel? Man. She died instantly. Cheese. Big cheese. Yeah, I heard like... Some noise. Coming from this side, I think. I think I, I have seen like... End game content, yeah, but I don't want to like make it worse or yeah. It's not even her real name. She's she's got an alias. Yeah, what's that creature making that noise? Is this where I thought the cave was? I can't be the dog. Ha! 
How many, uh, how many friends are you with, Bound Disguise? Where'd that first one go? That first Crystallion. Backstab. Oh! Holy crap, we got a lot of health. Whoa! <laughs> hey guys, I want to go bowling. There we go. Take it. Yeah. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Break that statue exactly. Yes. Oh, there's six of you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so... You don't have to outrun all your friends. You just have to outrun one of your friends. <laughs> and the more friends you have with you, then, then the odds improve. Yeah, they have weird bowl haircuts, like Anton Chigurh from uh, No Country for Old Men. This is no crystal for old men. Uh oh, two of them. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, with the spear, they just go like. Pokey, pokey, pokey. Okay, if we can separate them. Now is not the time for Frisbee. I'm looking for a dog. Have you seen my dog? We can get a good backstab in again. Who cut your hair, Stevie Wonder? have to beat Mortal Shell when you get back if you don't crash when you get back that is yeah well what'd you say it's it's 2 a.m. where you are and it's yeah just after 2 a.m. where I am I would probably crash and not do anything else when I get back from that excursion because that sounds exciting enough as it is I probably pick up food on the way home and then eat that and then watch something YouTube for a bit and then crash yeah the guard counters might work Yes, good call, Mike. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Grow a fruit. What was that other one? Yeah, I guess because they're crystal, they, they're kind of uh, not as sturdy, maybe. Or just sturdy in different parts, maybe. Yeah, you're going to be on guard when you get home, driving down the dark wooded roads looking for demons. Yeah. Make sure to always take the shortcuts home because there's a reason they call it shortcuts because it's it's a faster way home. No matter how, like, windy or dark the road is, always take it. Um, Make sure to pick, pick up any hitchhikers because they're all friendly and they can offer you, like, they have interesting stories and they can give you, like, uh, snacks or treats. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get in trouble, so avoid the well-lit areas. Exactly. Exactly. Um, if you need to fill up on gas, try to find, like, the out-of-the-way mom-and-pop shops, because they're usually, like, they're friendlier, 
and their gas prices are a bit more uh, less expensive. And again, they could offer you better directions and they have stories to tell you. Yeah, exactly. Always talk to the man on the crossroads, especially if they're playing guitar. Crossroad demons are only myths. Yep, they're, they're not real at all. <laughs> and uh, I, I think that just about covers it. <laughs> don't worry about gas. Just don't worry about checking how much you have. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't need, like, any extra, like, first aid equipment or anything. Because it'll be morning soon, and, and everyone will see... If, if you do need help, everyone will see that you need help. So, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, exactly. They might teach you how to play, like, dominoes or something. Okay, so that was the ever jail up here. Uh, that's okay. Good, we got the stake of America. Let's check this out. Ringleaders ever jail. Who's the ringleader? Yeah, exactly. Always drive with the headlights off. Uh, first, like, saves your battery. And you don't want to, like, get confused. If if your headlights, like, reflect off another reflective surface, you don't want to think that it's a UFO or anything. So it's just better to, like, drive with them off. And listen to the radio at full volume, too. Like, Slayer or something fast, preferably. Because you want to get home as fast as possible. <laughs> Electo Black Knife Ringleader. Electo. It's fast. She's fast. They're fast. Oh, what's that? Whoa! Pretty good combo in. Holy shit! He seems low level, probably. <laughs> Electo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you do this, Mike? I pressed R2 and nothing happened. Wait, what, what's, what's up with my health? My health has got, like, a little gray bar there. Electo, what'd you do to me? Is that from this fight or from before? I just noticed it now. Haha, I like the way you're going down. Yeah. Is he be debuffing when he hits me? Because now it's gone. Yeah, it's that sword. It's that move. I haven't noticed when it goes away. I like though, what'd you do? I like though, no. Cut the nose hairs off there on that hit. Reminds me a bit of the Abyss Watchers. Holy shit, boy. I'm like, no! That was hardcore. He's got no face. Or she's got no face. I think it's female. Yeah, female. It was like 10% total health reduction. Yeah, something like that. Interesting mechanic. Not unlike 
uh, one area in Dark Souls 3. Uh, you heard the speed limit signs are all reversed. Yeah, when they say 25, they actually mean 52. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and, and again, it's just a suggestion, right? Like, oh, that's the minimum. That's the minimum. <laughs> uh, so what is Electo the ringleader of? This whole shenanigans here. The Black Knife is also one of the most powerful weapons to believe in the lore. Probably. Is, is that what they're using? The Black Knife? Oh, that's their name, isn't it? Black Knife Ringleader. Yeah. And I can't summon for this fight either. Looks a little bit like a tree branch. Like a little tree branch. Too soon. Fuck. It could be, yeah, the the ringleader of the, the Black Knives in the intro. Yeah. It was able to split souls, really? Where'd you hear this? If that's in the intro, I just totally missed it. Um, after this boss fight, I'm just going to take a short break just to like walk around and go to the washroom for like a minute. And then we'll continue for another couple hours after that. I'm glad the, uh, the runes respawn outside of the boss area. Yeah, I remember the Night of the Black Knives. I just don't remember, like, what else was said during it. Hmm. Let's use a rune arc. Really quickly. Holy crap! Here it comes again. Slow going down. Oh, there it just went away. I wonder if it'd be more beneficial to, like, dodge than block. That was cool. That was, like, contact. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. Oh! Mortal Kombat style. <clears throat> block. Block. Uh, when they were sent to kill Blade because they believed he was mad or something like that. Yeah, you don't remember fully? <laughs> I think the cinematic was Godwin the first. Godwin was the first. Yeah, wasn't Godwin like the first, the first one to fall, if I recall? Oh, he bought the game. Nice. But you would watch the intro three times because your game kept crashing. Oh no. So you're pretty familiar with the intro. You had a grab? Shit, it all happened so fast. <laughs> Remember the art of him being stabbed in the back and shoulder in the intro? Yeah, he was like 
on his knees and there were a bunch of black knives around him, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, let's use a Exalted Flesh. And that boosts our damage by 10%. Just a just a quick bite of some beef jerky. Fast. Nope. Oh. Yeah. Fuck you. Nope. Ah, oh, you missed. Didn't miss that one though. Okay, we blocked that. Somewhat. <laughs> Woohoo! Good rally. Good rally, Hila. What? Yeah, he does grab. Holy shit. That's it. How do I do that? I'm gonna do that. Some health back there. Again. Just let me drink my flask, please. Ah. Three heals left. Electo. I Electo never fight this boss again. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it in a while and the time the time you had no idea who anyone was. Yeah, just a lot of names exactly. I felt the same way when I first saw the the, uh, the cinematic intro. Oh, you just started even though you said you wouldn't before you finished Mortal Shell. Actually, you might not even go back to Mortal Shell once you start uh, uh, Elden Ring. Oh, and I'm the only person you've seen play through this? Oh, cool. Yeah, this game is, like, vast and immense. Um, I'm, like, probably 100... Close to 170 hours into my first playthrough. 168 hours. Yeah, this boss could be the last boss of the Everjail. Or this Moonlight Plateau, whatever it's called. Or the end boss Everjail, yeah. Like the last Everjail that we have to fight. And I don't think I've missed any. It makes sense, because they're the ringleader. So maybe all the other, other Everjails are just like... They're the other black knives. And this is the ringleader. You don't remember seeing one in snowfields? Um, no, I don't either. There might be one, but... There was the one on the mountaintops of the, of the giants? There, yeah, there might have been. I can't remember, though. That is fucked. Haha! <laughs> ah, knock you down. Oh. Nope. 
I should have taken time to heal. Near the frost giant by the tower. Uh, which frost giant? Which tower? Frost dragon, like on the lake? Yeah, I think I beat that boss there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave this boss for another time. Uh, I'm going to take that washroom break. I'll just be a minute or so. I will keep the stream going. I hope everyone continues to hang out. And I want to... I want to finish this area, but not fight this boss yet. So we'll continue, like, exploring this area. Uh, it's a dude with a lightning spear. Honestly, man, I, I don't remember at all. Like... Because a lot of the bosses are just, like, kind of blending together right now. Because I've fought so many of them. 165. I thought it was, like, more, like, 80. A friend told me it was 80. 165 bosses. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, okay, I'll be back in one minute. Be right back. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're back. Thank you guys for continuing to hang out and being patient. <laughs> yeah, there are 165 enemies with a health bar at the bottom of the screen that I have beaten or will beat yet. <laughs> Not a bonfire break. It's a Grace Getaway. There you go. <laughs> Grace Getaway sounds like something uh, a bit more rushed. <laughs> hey, look, my head is floating. Okay. Grab my runes. Oh, uh, let's finish this area, though. I don't want to fight this boss, though. Not right now. Okay. So, yeah, we're up here by this Ever Jail. Uh, let me put a marker here just so I remember. Scully. And there's a Erd tree up here too? Or minor Erd tree? Or we got that already? Yeah, we got that. Yeah, so after this area, I want to go back to Furumazula. 
and make some progress there. And yeah, we'll keep going for another... At least another hour or so. At least. Okay, where was that noise that I heard at the, like the side of a cliff? Is that more dragons? Is that what I heard then? Dragons? Are these friendly dragons? Well, I don't think so. make it to that? Holy shit, in the middle of the air. No, they disappear. Yeah, this feels like end game area. We've been here before. Moonlight Altar, is this the first site of grace we got to? We got to? Yeah, it is. Look at that. Okay, so let's let's do what we're supposed to do up here. So, I think, th th yeah, this is the ruins, and then the dragon that we fought would be past that. Was it that short of a trek from that side of Grace to this one? I guess so. That's something. Okay, let's go down there. Am I live right now? Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Are we back? I think we're back. Okay, we need 24,000 more. We should be able to get that. Maybe not. No, let's wait. Everything good on that end? Awesome. Good to hear, Mike. Good to hear. Let's see what's down here. I just remember, too, there's another uh, boss we have to go back to in the Consecrated Snowfields. And just beat the boss. It's the same thing, like that Ansel thing. Uh, hello? Is that Ronnie? Hello? Puts on ring. Will you marry me? Hey, her robe is gone? And she's bloody? <clears throat> and her arm is fucked.
You think this is the real Ronnie? So, was the other one that was talking to us an imposter? Hello? So, it was thee who would become my lord. Sure. Perhaps I needn't have warned <clears> thee. <throat> I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the Lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. Okay. Pick up item. Dark Moon Great Sword. Is this what I think it is? Sixteen strength, thirty-eight int, eleven dex causes frost buildup. <laughs> you think spirit? You'll need YouTube. I understand? Yeah. Where's Vati? Excuse me. That's a GG for the quest line. That's the quest line. That's this is our reward. Thank you. We found it. Moon greatsword bestowed by a Karian queen upon her spouse to honor long-standing tradition. One of the legendary armaments. Rani's sigil is a full moon, cold and leaden, and the sword is but a beam of its light. So it's a small portion of the full moon. Unique skill, Moonlight Great Sword. Yeah! Raise the sword aloft, bathing it in the light of the dark moon. Temporarily increases magic attack power and abuse blade with frost. Charge attacks release blasts of moonlight. Awesome. That's cool how they incorporated uh, Frost in this particular weapon this time around, too. So we need a lot more ints for this. Oh, we got the Moonlight Greatsword. Cool, cool, cool. That's like a staple in all FromSoft games since, like, Demon Souls. Cool. Okay, about the same size. You like how there's a, a melee version of the Lunar Mancer? Yeah. So you can kind of play like a Gandalf type build where you have like a, a, a staff in your left hand and the sword in your right hand. <laughs> yeah, the dark side of the moon is cold, exactly. <laughs> nice Pink Floyd reference. Like a Lunar Battle Mage, yeah. Oh, it swings fast too. Sweet. I'm thinking when I do New Game Plus, it'll be like a sorcerer type build. So I'll probably like respec just before going into New Game Plus and then play through it again as a. as some variation of a sorcerer. Uh, where's my sword? That's really cool. It's like a dream. God ahead. Be wary of lovable swords. All the more. Ah, so lonely. What's with the bloody fingers, though? And wait, this is the first time we've seen other two fingers not in the round table hold. Hmm. Use Blood Fang, but you want to do full blood on builds in New Game Plus. Okay, cool, yeah. Blood Fang is a, is a fun, like, blood sword. That album is kind of cold, too, yeah. Like, its topics are cold, but the sound is very warm. And, like, yeah, Dark, si Dark Side of the Moon is my favorite album of all time. I love that album. I wonder what happened here. Hmm. Was it a blood sword that scales with dex instead of arcane? Nice. Oh, I guess that then does blood usually scale with arcane? That's cool that it has like a scaling though. 
Because I don't think it scaled in in Dark Souls. Okay. Uh, so I'll probably we'll come back to this area at some point to like finish this boss off and do some more exploring. We gotta find the two more dogs. But uh, let's go to Furumazula. And yeah, watching another Let's Play, I realized I forgot an area that uh, we got to. And... What was the first one? Dragon Temple Transept? Let's see. Most blood-related weapons uh, have an arc requirement. Okay, I haven't noticed. Well, oh, haven't been here yet. Oh, shit. You have to close your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Go by sound alone. You just hear me die over and over again. Um... I don't think this is the first set of grace. Am I planning on starting the Halle Tree tonight? Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, I would I would like to. Like if if you're still hanging out, because you just beat it or you just got to it like the other day, Mike. So like if if I have trouble with finding the way there, I know it's something to do with uh the liturgical town or Dina. feel like you did pretty good when you started you killed that first boss you got three tries but it doesn't matter as long as you beat it as long as you beat it once you get through the final encounter we have a more or less done okay cool the way there is related to Ordina. okay yeah I, I know I I want to beat that area at some point Whoa, 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 whoa. I love the, uh, the dynamics and, like, the, the change of pace that the game offers. Like, one minute we're, like, exploring some moon-laden precipice, and the next we're in some, like, legacy dungeon with a giant tornado. Oh, yeah, cover your eyes if you haven't seen this. Ordina isn't a long thing, just fun. Yeah, I, I... I started Ordina, where it was like a bunch of invisible assassins killing me over and over again. What? What happened there? What did I do? These guys hit like the rats in Dark Souls? Oh, just wait. Jessly. Yeah, I, I met the assassins and I was like, nope, I don't want to do this right now. But uh, I I don't know about like finishing this area today, but I would like to make some more progress. And there was a dragon here that uh, beat... Uh, last time we were here. Crumbling beast, grave deaths, okay. So yeah, I, I have been here before, like a few episodes ago, but been maybe a week or almost a week and I know I missed an area but I don't know which like the, the closest site of grace to get to that area is 
My personal most hated Bob in Elden Ring so far? Oh man, good question. I I couldn't say, I don't know. The most infuriating maybe? Uh maybe those uh like blue giant giants, ghosty blue giants in the consecrated snowfields that like disappear after you hit them and then they respawn with full health. Those are annoying. And uh <laughs> you have to say the gargoyles or the godskins. Well, that one godskin fight that we did in Volcano Manor, that was kind of annoying. Other people are your most hated mob. <laughs> That's fair. Damn gankers. Here, we can jump up here that I didn't do last time. Yeah. What is that tower right there? Oh, wait. The tree's leaning. I've never noticed the tree leaning like that before. Was it leaning this whole time? Or is it slowly burning? And falling? Yeah, invasions do suck if you're not ready for them. Especially for like... A first timer. Where you don't know what's going on. Like, who's this supremely overpowered... Troll, basically. You got wrecked in the snowfield by an invasion uh, by the entrance to Moog's area. Oh, man. Yeah, it especially sucks if you're like, you made it all the way to the boss and then you just get destroyed by, uh, by an invader. Gravel stone. I've noticed that enemies fall to their death a lot less, if at all, in this game. Like, they don't adhere to the strict, like, gravitational rules that apply to us. Unless they're dead already, like that guy. <laughs> you got killed by a guy with the moon? Yeah, like, what the hell? <laughs> he threw the moon at you. <laughs> yeah, you threw that you shit. You were retreating from a pair of giant bears and it kicked you off your horse. Dang, man. And then he fell to your death that way? Smith and Stone 6. What is this tomfoolery? Oh no. Oh, an invasion started, so you dismounted. Uh and the bears were after you, so you had two bears and a blood assassin. Oh shit. Yeah, it's, it's even worse when like you get invaded and the invader just watches you get wrecked by the normal enemies around, and then once you deal with those, then then he's like, "Okay, now, now it's time." Yeah, because you can't use your mouse or your mounts during an invasion. That's right. That's true. Screws me. Yeah, we need my souls back.
They're all so dodgy. Fuck. I have an idea. Thank God we can tank that. Ha 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 ha! But you're not dead yet. We're almost dead. Sick. Man. Oh, you've seen this exact spot in the speed runs. Okay. <laughs> they let me live. Yeah, it's not skill. That I'm alive. They, it, I'm alive because of their own generosity. <laughs> Great grave glove one. Okay. Man, that was that was that was sketchy. Okay, so yeah, I think the side of grace is here. Wait. No, that's nothing. Okay, we're right there. Good, we can get that back. <laughs> you think boss AI knows when you've given up? We just want the boss to kill you so you can try again and just stand there and stare at you. Yeah, I've noticed that sometimes where... They just, like, stop attacking. And they almost wait for your move. They're like... Okay, what's next, motherfucker? They're calling your bluff. Or they're, like, they're skill-checking you or something. I think we should be able to level up now. Is the boss AI very responsive to what you do first, really? I haven't noticed that. Let's see if we use these first. 135, so we need 4,000 more. Good. So, like, I wonder what that last boss we fought, that, uh, that ringleader, what they would do if I just stood there as we entered the boss arena. I should have left Dex at 25 and put more into Vigor, I think. Let's go Vigor. Really, the further you get, the more responsive they get, really. Makes learning the moves harder since they happen to response to what you do. That kind of makes sense, yeah. Very, very intuitive and, and smart AI. Wow. Yeah, so I think last time I went down this lift, but I didn't, like, explore what's down here. So now we'll do that. I'll greatly understand in the near nearish future. Oh, great. Great. I think I might know what you mean somewhat. Like, are we going to fight another mimic boss? Or something like that? Because we fought one already. Dragon ahead, yeah.
So wait, Mike, you said that you're at the last boss, but you haven't been here yet? I thought this place was mandatory. Oh, just bosses that are very, very, very responsive. Oh, fantastic. Small area for a dragon boss fight. Horse? Nope, a horse. Here it comes. It's a dragon eagle. What's your name? No name dragon. It's one of your generic ordinary dragons. It's got wings like the one that was uh, knocked down in Landell. How did that miss? But there's only eight. Don't need it. Oh, that's cool. Finally, a fire dragon, a proper fire dragon. Halfway there. Heal up. Oh, man. Oh, man. Seven heals left. Sounds about right. What? What? Is it farting? Is it farting? Those arms look uh, extraordinarily long for a dragon. I don't know how like the regulation length of dragon arms are, but those look almost human. Let's go. Oh man. Shit. If we get this first try, I'd be surprised. Two heals left. Shit. What does that move? Highlight Tree is optional, yeah, so you want to do that before going through the mountaintop crucible. Okay, I got you, I got you. Yeah, the wings look very similar to the the dead dragon in uh, in Langdell, like laying there. No, we killed that dragon earlier. Yeah, that dragon, th the first dragon that you see in Altus is the first dragon we beat here. Uh, like, remember that long open area when we first got here uh, on that like the, like a wider ledge that's where we fought it and we beat it hmm <laughs> we should call him Freddy in honor of Freddy Mercury singing dragon attack he sang dragon attack or call him Brian May maybe Freddy Freddy May or, or Brian Mercury <laughs> no, this is a completely just a a regular generic dragon, I think. It punishes us for being too close to the edge. Maybe I didn't notice that. I'm just glad he hasn't like knocked us off the edge. You don't remember if you killed him too many dragons, I know, right? Like, when... when... It says there's... 
excuse me, when it says there's 165 bosses, it's just like, it's more like maybe 16 or 24 bosses, but each one is repeated like five or six times. Just reskinned and given different abilities and whatnot. Like, there's a fire dragon, there's a magic dragon, there's a red lightning dragon. There's a scarlet rot dragon. It was a wing buffed attack, so if, if it's too close, we'll he'll get us off. What really? Oh, that shit! Ah, ba ba! <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. Holy fuck! <laughs> yeah, hardcore parkour. <laughs> Speed run strats, right? I'm glad I leveled up earlier then. No, we need the dragon. I was I was testing it. I was testing the gravitational powers. That was a test. <laughs> well, that's okay. I've died that way in Dark Souls many times too, where I just like miscalculate jumps and rolls and stuff like that. It's true, edges are scarier than the actual fights. It's very true. And you know, since they added actual jumping in this game, that there's going to be, like, uh, pro platforming sections. Let's try this again. Wait, which way was it? This way. Decent section for the three fingers. Three fingers. Yeah, Dark Souls parkour is just awkward rolling, I know, right? It's like, if this was Dark Souls, you'd be like running up to here and then pressing L3 at the last second. Oh yeah, the parkour section in Lindos in, in the sewers. Yeah, that was kind of sketchy. But hopefully, we don't have to go back to the sewers. That's that's over and done with. Dragon. Let's try to stay in the center then. And I still think that like the safest spot is directly underneath the dragon. Between its two sets of legs. Oh. Stay right here. I did it! Oh. Holy shit. Where I almost saw its arm like stretch out, like stretch Armstrong. Oh yeah. Cripple the knees. Fire. Yeah. That's fucked. He's like, get out of here! No, no, no! We stay in the fight. Oof. One more. One more. One more. Oh, fuck you! We die already? Hell yeah, man.
What's our prize? No prize? I feel sad. All for nothing. Holy shit. Yeah, don't <laughs> fight this dragon if you don't want to. It was pretty bold. Uh, that's right. Holy shit. The sewers and, like, the snowfield and, uh, that Scarlet Rot Lake is Ebola. Yeah. Yeah, like, 90% of the bosses are safer the closer you are. 25,000 souls? Yeah, about that shit. That's, like, a fifth of a level. Not one item either. I know what we can do, though. We can give an item to another player by upvoting this message. I did it, but futility. Oh, futility. Yeah, futile, because we didn't get anything out of it. No no item except some runes. <laughs> when you first enter Snowfield, you're like, cool, which way's up? Yeah, like, how do we get out of here? How do I clear the snow? So they're actually just throwing regular dragons at us now as regular enemies that don't drop anything unique. What's going on here? Oh yeah, I think these enemies I saw earlier and I and I commented like, are they vomiting? Because it looks like they're throwing up. Yeah, we got some wormy boys. Okay, this is the way we came from, right? Yeah. Oh, let's see what's over here. Kind of remind me of the, uh, the snake-like enemies in, like, Sense Fortress and Arch Dragon Peak. They've overdosed on mushrooms, and they're all <laughs> throwing up over the tree. Oh, they got death. Worms of death. Yeah, parasites. Holy shit. Lots of health, dude. It's a death wiener. <laughs> it's like not one of those good wieners either. It's like one of those wieners that you buy at like a gas station. That's like two years old. Like like the hot dog that Kramer eats in Seinfeld. At the movie theater. Yeah, the vomiting maggots, exactly. And they're like retching. They're, they're having the motion of retching too. Oh, hello. Wow. Yeah, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Bulger Bloom. I wonder how many bad names and song titles will be, uh, will be because of Elden Ring and, like, inspired by Elden Ring. One, at least here. <laughs> the one in the corner behind the cobwebs? They're everywhere. No, oh, I wanted to lock on too late.
It feels kind of bad for them. Except, they're trying to kill me. I bet there's gonna be a dragon. Oh, no, 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 no. That is spewing that shit. Yeah, imagine being cursed to live as that, and you're like sentient and know what's going on. Oh, this is bad. We're gonna die, probably. And it's got a literal stick as a weapon. Like a table leg. Oh, there's a few, Mike. Like, absolutely. Uh, you're, yeah, you're curious if there's a, a band that is souls born metal band, like our Shadow of Intent is a Hitler thing band. Absolutely. Uh, there's a band called... Uh... Two molds. They're like old school death metal. Uh, their first album is like Dark Souls themed, and their second album is Bloodborne themed. And there's another band called Hath that is also Dark Souls themed. And my one of my bands called Dojo Cobra. Uh, it's like a drone metal band. Uh, we're not like. Ostensibly inspired by Dark Souls, but we do praise the sun at the end of every show. Even though our last show was like two or three years ago. And I've got another like dungeon synth ambient piano solo project called Soul Air. That is absolutely Dark Souls inspired. And yeah, there, there's tons of stuff there. That's what happens after consuming too much Taco Bell. Oh man, I would love to have some Taco Bell right now. <laughs> uh, Visigoth has a song, I'm pretty sure. I've never heard of... Or maybe I have heard of Visigoth. Okay, I'll have to check him out. You'll make an album called Patches. There's no music, just disappointment. It's just like... It's all scratched and shit. It automatically kicks you down a well when you buy it. And then it apologizes to you afterwards. The, the first track is like, Fuck you, motherfucker. Second track is, I'm sorry, friend. Third track is like, You suck, you stink, you have no friends. Third, tr Fourth track is, I'm sorry. They have a Souls-themed album called Bells of Awakening. Cool. Yeah, Boundless Skies, can you link that in my Discord, please? I'd like to check that out at some point. I'm always down to listen to, like, Dark Souls-inspired music when I'm playing Dark Souls. Alright, what's up here? And it's just, uh, excuse me. Just exclamation point Discord in chat will give you a link to my Discord. What is up here? <laughs> Obviously, Patches is an omnipotent entity. He transcends reality like... Q from Star Trek to fuck with us and pretends to be weak. Exactly. Exactly. He's the ultimate troll. Is it crying? Here. Oh. Try ranged battle. Yeah, I think we might have to. It's crying. And it's not throwing up. That's kind of sad. I'm taking it that these are like inhabitants of the city that were just fucked over by whatever happened, by the shattering. And it's facing the tree too. Is it crying because the tree's on fire or is it just crying regardless? Not gonna lie, FromSoft does a final game that is related to the Souls world. They need to make Patches the true final boss. Yeah, right. Soul of Patches. 
It's just like every... The moveset of every boss in the form of patches. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. They're cursed. Is it going to attack me? No, oh, no, telescope. Put that away. Is it going to attack me if I pick up the item? Yeah, patches the cindered Elden Lord of Blood. Is the music awesome? Thank you, Boundless Guys. I'll make sure to check it out later. Oh, you're aggro. Sorry, bro. Don't fall off the edge. Okay, what is this? It better not be like an upgrade thing or a rune. Fuck. Ah, I'll throw it away. I don't need it. Let's try some range battle. Yeah, exactly. You enter his boss room and he's just standing beside a well waiting for you to get close. And there's like, you can see treasure at the bottom there. Imagine you just push him off instead of instead of collecting something. Yeah, <laughs> or he pushes us off. That'd be even worse. Okay, if these are like the normal size enemies we've been seeing so far, that's much bigger. Hmm. Try range battle. They say. New Conspiracy Patches is Gwyn. Oh my god. Patches, the Lord of Cinder. This changes everything. <laughs> no, I don't think we even... We hit it there. But, no, we can't lock on. We got a little bit closer. Well, if we hit these things, maybe if we hit one of these, it'll aggro the big boy. If we hit one of these things, we can aggro the big boy. If we hit one of these things, we can aggro the big boy. I don't care. And the music just... The music aggro before the enemies do. Okay, let's try it. Let's try close range battle. Wait, is that one still alive? Is that a dog? Or is that a turtle? That's a turtle! Just one lone turtle. You imagine there's a stake of America down there anyway? Yeah, probably something. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If there's a, a bigger enemy there, then yeah. Okay, before we go down there, let's make sure I didn't miss anything here. You thought that was a blood dog for a moment? I'm glad it wasn't. Just a regular old turtle. Yeah, we got everything here. Okay, so where's that ladder? <coughs> and yeah, we're more than like four hours into the stream, so I want to thank, thank you guys and thank everybody for hanging out and chatting and just, just being here. And I appreciate your time, so thank you.
we are just inching our way towards the end. This is like an eating challenge where just like a nibble, a nibble at a time. Oh, you're cool. You're also working on some music you've been lazy about finishing. Nice. Nice. Yeah, dude, I've got like lots of music I've been wanted to get out. And I've been saving that I, I have like... I've been working on my solo record for like five years now, at least. And it's fucking driving me nuts. Like I can hear it in my head, but I don't have the skill and the equipment, I think, to like actually get her done. Okay, here. Here, we can try some rage battle. I think this is easier. Yeah, there we go. Okay, if we take out the big boy, then... If they just... I hope they can't jump. Uh oh Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, shit, that's bad. Oop. Should have killed them. Yeah, if we could separate them and kill them, kill one before the other ones come over. Still alive? Uh, yeah, what kind of music are you working on, Mike? Holy sh I knew it. That's instant death. Best thing you ever did was thoroughly learn Guitar Pro. Yeah, man, I've I've dabbled in it. I've got like one lesson on YouTube where I, I use Guitar Pro and it's it seems very like easy to pick up and and intuitive and like it's got all, everything covered basically from what I needed all the way back here right what's your band's new album cool what's your band's name again I don't know if you've told me can document everything plus write out things and export the MIDI to your DAW to help with recording. Oh, that's cool. Blood Bloom Collective. That sounds familiar. Maybe maybe because I'm like associating with Animal Collective. That sounds like a cool name, man. Uh, yeah, Mike, if you don't mind, can you, like, link one of your band songs on my Discord as well? Just so I can check it out sometime. You on your way home now? About to get McDonald's salad and probably watch till you're asleep. Sounds like a plan, man. Sounds like an awesome plan, Boundless Guys. I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad you, uh, survived that, uh, presumably haunted sanitarium. Hell yeah. Oh, could you throw uh, a YouTube link as well? Because I don't have Spotify. Please. You're going to track demo soon? Just export the bass and drums. Okay. So, we did need to jump across that. This is just another path. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, you're definitely not okay. Oh, shit. You're never going to recover. They jumped 
out at you when you were charging the batteries in your light and you punched him straight in the nose. Oh, shit. And there's a blood trail. There's blood everywhere. And if you follow the blood trail, it's under your car. Wah! Oh, wait. This is the wrong area. Man, I gotta watch another horror movie sometime. It's been it's been a while since I watched a horror movie. Oh yeah, you're in a hospital. That's fine. <laughs> Call the ghost. The ghost will take care of it. Oh man. Okay, what I think I'll do, I'm getting kind of tired, and I noticed that my playing is kind of sloppy. Uh, so I want to keep going for a little bit, but... Okay, what we'll do, we'll, like, keep going in this direction. Uh, we'll find the next site of grace, and then we'll head to... Uh, Ordina. Finish that off, and then head to the Hallig Tree, and then probably call it a, a stream there. See how it goes, though. Okay, what if he... It's not even hitting it. What kind of salad did you get, Boundless Guys, anyway? What? You jumped up here? I didn't know you could do that. Most of them in Discord? Awesome. Thank you, Mike. I'll make sure to check him out later. And I keep saying this, but I never really do it, that uh, I should... I want to do just more just chatting streams where we just hang out. And, like, we check out music together, or you, you guys send me links that we check out, or just, like, hanging out rather than playing a game on stream. Spiritual Detox, hello. You be here. Hello, welcome, Spiritual Detox. How's your night going? I have not even been to the Halle Tree yet, no. I will most likely head there once we find the next site of grace. I did finish up um, the Lake of Rot. Yeah, we finished Ronnie's quest line. But there's still like one boss left in the Lake of Rot, like in the actual Lake of Rot. Just got the regular side salad. You got, you got two. Nice. That's a big salad. Lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers. Delicious, man. Delicious. Uh, yes, we found the coffin. Yes. That was uh, quite the experience. What if we sneak? Rejuvenating bolluses. Oh, we can only summon, like, here? Okay. I hope my Mimic isn't weak to death. Like, they're probably immune to it, right? Holy shit, that thing's tall. Did it die? Oh, it did get... It's gone. It got cursed. Holy shit. 
Oh, that's psycho. Oh, man. Oh, man. And yeah, we also had a little puzzle at the top of, um, what was it called? Where, like, Ronnie was. Here, the Moonlight Altar, this area. There was, like, we have to kill three wise beasts, and we, we found one giant dog, and we couldn't find the others. How does a soulless magical projection get death? <laughs> That's a good point. I wish I could tell you. I'm not a doctor, though. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it should... It should not have an effect on it, right? Is that where we... That is. That's where we came to from the four belfries. Right there. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. And it seems like still so far away, but closer. I thought that was an enemy. That is that's an enemy though, right there. Get out, get out. Something behind us? No. It's raiding death. Instant death. All I want to do is get to the next bonfire. That's all I want. Try bow, and then vigilance. Required ahead. Vigilance. We got to be careful. We got to be vigilant. Okay, let's see if we can jump back up there from here, probably. Hmm. I bet there's a set of grace close by. It's awfully quiet, too. It's a little too quiet. Whoa. Stone. 
Give me something good. There's something on that gazebo. Telescope, no. I'll just take this. Lovewort Pickers Bell Bearing 3. Okay. We're absolutely safe here. So we can buy Grave Glove Wart 7, 8, 9. Nice. Welcome back, Riz. Welcome back. You unexpectedly passed out. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. If that giant thing doesn't drop like a unique item, I'm not going to fight it. More upgrade stuff. I don't need more upgrade stuff. Uh, let's head to the mountaintops of the giants. Or the, the snowfields. Yeah. But first, there was a mini boss or a boss here. That. We need to fight, uh, fight still. Six shots and 9% THC can do that. Party time. Party time, but you got your second wind. You're good to go, Rez. Oh, 98%. That's fucking just pure marijuana. So hopefully this boss will be easier now because we've, we've fought like two or three variations of it so far. And I'm like two levels stronger. Yeah, this son of a bitch. The third Astel we fought. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> Holy fuck. It's super weed. Super weed. Very cool music, though. Oh, it's got like... Its skull is cracked open. It's got like a crystal ball in its skull. Shit, that's really cool. Okay, let's try this one more time, and then we'll try uh, Ordina and have our hand at those, those silent, invisible assassins. Yeah, it looks like a weird scorpion alien hybrid. Can we cheese it from here? There's a gap right there. 
Cheese time. Nope. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, it's like a scorpion butterfly thing. Was that a one hit kill? Holy crap. Okay, we'll come back here later. I wasn't supposed to do that. No, I don't think so. That was a definite. That was almost full health. Kill. We'll try it one more time. Oh, really? The move was supposed to lift us in the air before doing any damage. Well, I'm glad it, it killed us earlier then. It, it, <laughs> it did what it was supposed to do earlier. Okay, maybe we should get out of the way first before we summon, because it usually does this thing. Big blast. Haha, you missed. got spikes at the end of its tail too. Let me do this. Double fist it. Yo! There you go. There's the lift. And there's the almost kill. Uh oh. Nope. Shield. Shield. I just got hung up on my mimic there for a second. Like it impeded my movement. That's rad. That's not rad. Oh, what? Let's go. Halfway there. Oh. oh man, I can't even see. Fuck. Is it facing the other way? What? There goes my hero. Watch him as he dies. Yeah, big hits. That's a screenshot right there. Oh! That's so cool, though. This boss is pretty metal. Heal. One. Heal left. Jumping the attack! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Two more. One more. Don't die. Don't die. Yeah. Finally. Meteorite of Astel. Sweet. Enough to level up. One time. Thank you. That was intense. The fight's really being really buggy right now. Really. Man up. <laughs> Maybe because of the bug we were able to beat it. 
Awesome. Uh, 55 int. Calls a hail of small meteorites from the void. Uh, one of the glistening sorceries that manipulates gravitational forces summons a void that emits a hail of meteorites. Hold to continue the effect. A manifestation of the power with which Astal leveled the Eternal City. Which Eternal City, though? Nocron or Noxtella? I'm so confused. Anyway, that's done. Okay. Uh, we can get rid of this now. And let's go to Ordina. That was close. Here. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll do whatever it takes to get to the Halic Tree, and then I'll probably wrap up the stream. Oh, maybe, yeah, that the Eternal City is just the whole area. And Nokron and Noxtel are just different parts of it, perhaps. Yeah, like, the Eternal City would be, like, the name of the city, and then Noxtella and Nokron are just, like, name of the names of its, like, uh, areas. Or districts, maybe. Yeah. War figure. Okay, so we started this last time, or a few episodes ago. Uh, we got our asses kicked by some invisible assassins. Yeah, there's Nokron, the Eternal City, and then there's Noxtella, the Etern Et Eternal City, as well. So yeah, Spiritual Detox may be right, where it's... Like, they're both just part of the same city, just different districts. Yeah, there's not quite Eternal City. The comic can apply city province, maybe. So so what was Noxtella? Was like was it Noxtella the Eternal City? Hmm. The skybox does look like the boss in a lot of ways. Yeah. Just like a vast collection of, of stars, yeah. Oh, the other place was the same, Noxtella Eternal City. Yeah, so Eternal City is probably, like, the name of the greater area. Death? Can we talk? Uh, no talk? Okay, what's going on here? I'm sure all the answers will be... Or all the questions will be answered once we beat the game. And if not, <laughs> I'll just keep playing it. And watching lore videos and stuff. Okay, so how do we... We changed up the look of this place. I forget how we did that, though. We, uh... Did we light a tower or, uh, or this? I'll shut by a seal. Did we go into the Everjail? Yeah, that sounds familiar. Okay, so where's the Everjail? Right, right there. Good. Light the four figures in the Everjail. while being hunted and killed by silent, invisible assassins. Yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing that's one right there. 
two. I don't think I have sentry torch. No. Would that be really useful here? No, I just have these two. Torch and steel wire torch. That's probably three. <clears throat> no horse. Not too useful, but a cool thing. Okay. If I could find something that, like, clears the snow in the consecrated snow fields, that'd be most useful. I heard that. Is that the same move as the uh, ringleader? Where are you? Jesus Christ! Okay, watch the uh, watch the footsteps. Watch the smoke, right? And they disappear right after. Oh, they got a lot of health, too. Wow. All Black Knife Assassins have that move. Great. They're in front of me, they're to my right. This is crazy. Stay dead. Get dead, and then stay dead. Okay, we got one. And because they dropped a thing, does that mean they're dead forever now? Like, they won't respawn when we reset at a, at a set of grace? Hopefully. Okay, let's take out that uh, archer. Don't know if they respawn. Okay. Hopefully not. Yo, get out of the way. I guess it'd be kind of hard to tell, like, unless you killed all of them and they don't respawn because... Uh, or unless they're, like, set to just patrolling a certain area of this level. Crystal dart? Okay, so, oh, here's a ladder too. Great. But sometimes it, it feels like we're in a snow globe or something. Like it's all... There's no stars in the sky. It's all isolated. Well, I guess it's meant to be like some alternate reality. But still, it's very... Just disturbing. Or not disturbing, but just like... Disconcerting. 
There's one. Very small flame. Oh. These don't reset. Good. I didn't think so. <laughs> It'd be cruel if they did. Whoa. City. <laughs> this is like the Anor Londo or Anor Londo archers all over again. Yeah, we gotta use some cover. Okay, so how do we get up on the first rooftop? There was a ladder. But first we went... Is it this way? Okay, this is where that first assassin attacked us. So let's see if they respond. I don't think they do. Because they would have got us already, I think. Yeah, okay, so they... I don't think... No, wait, we're not even in the thing yet. Never mind. What am I talking about? That's true, yeah, we could grab our souls before re-entering. I didn't even think of that. I think I had, like, half a level's worth. Or a third of it or something. Okay, so we got that one, right? And yeah, it doesn't look like they respawn. I think it was this way, and then there was an item there, right? And then I... Went up a ladder, which was around here. Yep. I wonder if we could... No, we can't jump from the thar to har. We have to go around thar to get har. Okay, there's one there, one there. It's gonna take forever to get them by bow and arrow. Might be safer though. Out of here. Okay, that should make it a bit easier. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, 
And the other one was here? Yeah, there you are. Uh, I can't jump back up from down there, but... Yeah, that's bad. Holy shit. I thought I healed. If you crouch, you can use the attic things to recover. That's a good idea. Crouch. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, let's kill her. Where was the other one? Where did she drop to? Okay, so I think we get, yeah, we gotta go around. And then it was this way. So then she was on this rooftop or around here, right? <clears throat> but we're probably going to run into another invisible assassin, too. Is that her? No. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, she saw us. She heard us. Ooh, man. We ran past one, did we? Oh, like a, a flame thing. Okay. Thanks for fucking reminding me, because I never would have seen it. <laughs> but also that, yeah. But also an assassin. The other one we knocked down was around the Everjail entrance. Okay, so that was back here, I think. Doing okay for heals. Yeah, there's the entrance. There she is. Right, okay. Finally. Excuse me. Got the shivers all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, we got the assassin's armor. Yeah, I. That was like the first thing I picked up in this area. It is called something. Black knife armor. Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, we got the set. But maybe that would. Make it easier to go through here, because that's silent, right? And that would kind of mask our footsteps. Okay, so this would be like the central road through the town. Maybe we could jump here. Awesome, so we don't have to go all the way around. That works. You got spooked here because he found the one armor off the dead guy, then he went through... There, while in Everjail, and you got knifed in that exact same spot. Oh no. <laughs> it's like it's a setup, right? They, they catch your eye with, with the loot, and then they get you. <laughs> Under the bridge, yeah. Yeah, right there, yeah, yeah, because it's like there's no way into the town except under the bridge there. Yep. Okay, so we've got two lights already. We need two more. Uh, that's one. And then... We got that one. I'm sure we'll find it, like, on the way. It's probably... Past that rooftop, like... The last building in the village here. 
where that blue light is. Like, right there. Last little building. Maybe. Probably not, though. Hey! Awesome. Take a look around from the top of this one. Okay. We will find it. Yeah, we got that one. It's probably past there, maybe. Behold, I did it. Or is it there? That tower right there? Yeah, we got that one, this one, and then there's one that I just ran past uh, near ground level that we got. So there's one more. But there's no light coming from that one. But uh, I have a feeling it is it. Wait, is that an assassin right there? Right there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we... Okay. And I bet there's a ladder, like, over there that we can climb up and then... Get up there. Light appears after you hit the candle. Right. So we're just going to sneak up on them. I feel like we could jump from here to that rooftop. Oh, so close. Hmm. Can we climb this? Great success. Okay, I guess we're going to climb it again. All Banaric Bow? Cool. Uh, e Strength, D Dex, 7 Strength, 18 Dex. Longbow featuring delicate silverwork wielded by Albanaric Wolfback Archers. This bow requires dexterity over strength to master. Skill, mighty shot. Nice. Well, I'm glad this is here. Hopefully there's no more assassins. Oh! What is that? Who's that? Who was that? What was that? I just saw like a flash of red. <laughs> Who was that? Probably an assassin blade, yeah. Just like a one time use assassin blade. Please insert quarter to continue. Oh, 
<laughs> Is that them? No. Oh, shit, don't fall off. Last one. A seal was broken in town, finally. Okay, so this probably takes us, like, back to the, the normal setting. Here we go. So it looks like it's just leading to nowhere or a, a little chapel or something, but obviously there's more beyond it. Teleporter. Victory? Jumping ahead. Okay, you first. <laughs> There's a bloodstain of you first. It's been a while since we uh, saw a merchant, too. A new merchant. Welcome to hell. Oh, fantastic. Michaela's Hallig tree. Okay, screenshot time. No HUD. Screenshot. So I. I have a feeling I think I know where we are. In the upper part of the map, in some area that I mentioned a few episodes ago, that that's like the same, uh, same, or it takes up the same space as the Erd tree. But it looks all gnarled and rooted out, and yeah, right here, cool. Yeah, it looks as big as, like, Lanedale. And it's probably, like, uh, very vertical, too. Like, wow. <laughs> Thank, good luck. Thank you. Well, it's the same enemies uh, playing the same instrument. Got this one massive dungeon. It's a tree dungeon. Whoa. So that makes sense. Those are the, I guess, ramparts that we saw on the map. Yeah. Reminds me a bit of like a skull or a, a human head. Like the profile of a skull. a giant tree city. Mind your step too. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, let's let's play this for a little bit. Let's see what's up here. Halig tree canopy. Wow. So yeah, Miyazaki is like, hey, you guys like, you guys like trees. You guys like the uh, the Great Hollow. Well, here's an entire dungeon. Don't fall. Let's 
I bet there's tons of like little side paths and secret areas. Just like little branches we could drop to to get some more upgrade material. Like this one. What you got? Sacramental Bud. Nice. I'm low on sacramental, sacramental Bud myself. If anyone could send some Sacramental Bud my way, I'd be much, much appreciative. Uh, is there something down there? So it's interesting. You have to choose one to roll, when to eat the hit, because, like, a tree branch rolling maybe death. Exactly. Yeah, after, like, calculate all your moves and, and see if, like, if is it worth rolling or blocking or attacking or what. Exactly. Are those people? No. Some resin or something. Is that where we started? Holy shit. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, maybe sap, yeah. I just iframe and make sure you're not rolling off exactly. Yeah, we'll be okay. So I wonder what Halig tree means. Like what what's Halig? What does that mean? Is it a term that they come up come up with specifically for this game, or is it like it sounds almost like Norse in origin or something? Just like Erd almost sounds Norse. I don't know. Golden rune. Oh, Halig means holy or sacred. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Uh, what? Tree. Of course, tree, but... Giant tree. That reminds me of the Ur tree. So is the Ur tree just a copy of this tree? Because the Ur tree doesn't seem like... A real tree. <laughs> Where's that coming from? Oh, you. Oh, this sucks. This tree is the copy? What? Oh, no. They're everywhere I know, right? It's like, it's a bittersweet symphony. Get out of there. Run. Oh, man. What is that behind it? Poison flowers? Oh, Scarlet Rot. Watch out. Halle Tree was an attempt to create an Ur Tree that wasn't under the authority of the Greater Will. Hmm. Failed because Mikella was cut from its roots by Moog. What? So Mikella was like vital in keeping this tree alive? Or like up to standards? Huh. So So all the the shard bearers that we've found so far are like literal 
parts of the tree that have been cut off? Literal branches and leaves and whatnot? I think we saw Michaela in that egg thing with Mo. Yeah, it's, I think it was you, Mike, that mentioned uh, some the name of somebody in in that egg by Mog. Is it Moog or Mog? I'm gonna say Moog. Yeah, I'm sure there's tons of complicated stuff. And I'm sure Miyazaki still doesn't like. He's he's leaving it up to. Uh, Interpretation. Moog. Okay, yeah, because it's like you would pronounce O like O H, you pronounce O. So if you put an M in front of it and a G behind it, it's still Moog. Moog. Be wary of down. Be wary of left, right, and up to. All the runes the Shard Bearers have are parts of the Shattered Earth Tree. And Michaela is Mik Mikala. Mik Mikala. Okay. See, I always thought Mikala was female. Because that sounds like a woman's name, right? But apparently it's, it's male. Hmm. Should we fight some giant ants or some... Snowman playing the flute. Warmer stone. And I bet the branches. Oh, yo, 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 yo. See ya! Whee! <laughs> oh, man. I was gonna say, I bet the branches are gonna become more, uh... narrow. Called it! Yep, that's the first one of, like, 100 probably coming up. Holy shit, boys. The iframes betrayed me. How could they? I put my trust in iframes... I put my trust in, in uh, Miyazaki. Okay, we'll leave them. That actually might come back to haunt us. Because they have the power of the loot. Oh, there's an item. I see the item. Oh, I knew it. So I guess we're going to drop from, like, higher up onto the mushroom pad to get that item. Shit. There goes half a level. On the plus side, this place is really good for runes. Okay, good, good. So we could find a, a decent farming spot eventually. They drop mad runes? Nice. I haven't noticed how many we got, but. Yeah, almost 2,000. So if we kill. Uh, 70 of them, we get a level. <laughs> this strip of white flesh first off down yeah we encountered a standard mob further further in with glowy eyes that gave you 30,000 runes nice and yeah if, if that's close to a site of grace that's even better Okay, hope we can jump. Probably not, though. Let's try it, though. Jump! Holy shit, we made it. Rattling paint! My beloved. That's worth it. Okay, 
Okay, as soon as we're safe here, we're gonna try this out. And I bet it sounds like the same the same way the the one that sounds uh, that says "You're beautiful." It's got some some melody and some some beauty. Let's try it. <laughs> I think he drops 6.5 or something normally, so on paper you could kill him and just keep resetting. That's true, yeah, if they're that close to the set of grace. Or we could just go back to uh, uh, Moog's area, Mog's area, whatever, and, and kill that bird and just, like, cheese the bird off the cliff. What? Drop there. <clears throat> Hang on. Yes. Oh, we're almost dead, dude. <laughs> worth hashtag worth exactly. Speaking of hashtags, I uh, I deleted my Twitter a few days ago. I didn't really use it. Uh, I was just basically for like posting some videos that are on my YouTube and like some updates for my Twitch here. Uh, but yeah, I deleted my Twitter. Okay, what do we get? Envoy's Longhorn? What was that? Key or a weapon, maybe? Uh, 23 Strength, 11 Dex, 18 Faith. Honestly, the only reason you have Twitter is to see the random crap people send me. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to see random crap. I want, I want like positivity, and a lot of what I see on Twitter is negativity. I just like, I'm recommended people I have no interest in, and it's just drama for fucking drama's sake. We got the Longhorn. Well, yeah, what does this do? Long golden horn of the Oracle Envoys, profoundly weighty. Its blur, its blows, its blurs are sure to be felt. Originally an instrument that they're using, nice, but one that could not be sounded by a mere human. Ah, oh, we're tarnished though. Is tarnished not a human? Perhaps it's too early to sound the carl. Hmm. So maybe that implies that at some point we might be able to use it. Unique skill: bubble shower. Blow on the horn to release a, sp a spume of magic bubbles. The bubbles flow gently before raining down on the target. Awesome. Uh, you mean more because stuff is locked behind account walls now, really? Oh. I see. Like, your, your friend uh, sends you stuff, and you can't see it because you don't have an account. I gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> What's well, a rare drop? You have two of the smaller ones, but not that one. Nice. So we need 18 faith. Six more faith. Very cool. Wasn't there a boss called Celestial Envoy as well? Or am I thinking a different game? I'm thinking, like, Bloodborne, maybe. That's cool. I wish I could use that. You wouldn't use it otherwise. Yeah. Like, I've got... I guess two friends on Twitter, but... 
if I want to talk to them and like see stuff that they shared, well, like one's also on Facebook and one hasn't really posted anything in a long time, so. Ah, I'm not missing much. You only have Facebook in case someone wants to message you. You haven't looked at it in a couple of years. Yeah, like I'm I'm weeding myself off Facebook too. Uh, yeah, like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I used to have a page on Facebook dedicated to, like, my streaming and, and YouTube stuff, but I deleted that a few years ago. And now I just use it for, like, events, but I haven't been to an event in, like, two years. Two and a half years, probably. <laughs> Messenger is good, though. Where's that coming from? Holy shit! Up! No kidding! They're everywhere! Uh oh, we're trapped. Uh oh, oh no. What's that item? We gotta get the item. How? We gotta go down to go up? Do we go up that branch? No. No, that's too far. This is craziness. Where are they? They're there. The trio. It's Hansen. Mm bop. Nice. Get out of here. Seek sniper opportunity ahead. I see the flower right there. That's going to take a while. Okay, they don't have a lot of health, which is good. So where do we get the uh, the smaller one of those horns? Maybe I got it already, and I just bashed it. Uh oh! Holy shit! No! 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 That's a major damage. Just off them, it's a, it's a rare drop. Okay. You got two back in lane down. Okay, maybe I got it too. I just... Like I said, maybe I stashed it. And yeah, that, that bolt of Grand Sacks kind of looks like uh, that horn too. Ooh, man. Yeah, we cleared that out. There's still an enemy up there. <laughs> Walking around. Is it worth it? Item. Ambush, maybe? Hopefully not. Dappled cured meat. Oh, there's two of them. Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, I think the one behind me is dead, hopefully. There's an item. We'll die. There's another one. There's two more. Not worth it. Ah, tears. <laughs> oh, man. Is that the same set of grace? Yeah, it is. That's the first one. Careful. There's a real thick one around here too somewhere. Oh, great. Just like waddling around. <laughs> That looks like a giant, uh, like, gazebo, or, a, like a country club, almost. Every breath you take, every step you make, How does the rest of that go? I don't know. There's some more. Oh, there's an item too. <clears throat> there's another item. And there's another item. Holy shit. Is that the thick boy? I think that's the thick boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that ball would kill us. So let's go down to go back up. There's a Jesus flower? What's a Jesus flower? A poison flower? <laughs> you had zero willpower to fight a Jesus flower on the thin branch. I don't blame you. Yeah, you don't have to fight every enemy. Okay, yeah, I thought so. The big flower that shoots the light beams, yeah. That's a big boy. Golden rune. She's thick. Thick with four C's. It's a quadruple C. What are you looking at? Oh, it's a thick boy. Don't roll me off. One more time. Okay, this better not be the two things I don't want right now. An upgrade material or runes. Okay. Envoy crown. Is that a thick boy crown? Thick boy crown. The soft bundle worn on the head by oracle envoys, densely wrapped in several layers of cloth, raises the potency of bubble-based skills. So it's like, you have to use this, or you don't have to, but it's recommended to use this with the, uh, the horn we just got. No one knows what the cloth hides, but some claim to have heard a faint whimpering from inside. It's just their imagination. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. I feel smarter already. That's cool. Almost like a turban. And there's like little dangles on the side of it. That's really cool. <laughs> and I know I saw at least two more items that uh, we gotta get. I like this one there. Man.
And I bet the next set of grace is down there in that little village area. Ah, uh, which talisman talismans am I running? I'm running. Radagon, Sword Seal, Assassin's Crimson Dagger, Urtree's Favor plus one, and the Gold Scarab. So we've got some raised attributes, but it increases our damage taken. Critical hits restore HP. Raises maximum HP, stamina, and equip load. And we get more runes when we kill things. I heard there's one talisman that uh, like negates uh, FP use. Is that true? That'd be awesome to get. Wait, is this where we dropped down earlier? And I died? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, do you know anything about that spiritual detox? Or spiritual detox, I'm sorry. I've heard, I've heard there's something like that. But I could be wrong. Yeah, we have the tier thing that does that for the physic, but uh, maybe I'm just getting those two mixed up. There's one that... Oh! What am I doing? Cover! Okay, or iframes. Holy shit, are you kidding me? It's my last flask. Oh my god, this sucks. What was that? Flaming bolt? Wow. There's one that reduces FP from skills and one spells but reduces HP. Okay, I think... I don't know if I have any of those. The tier makes cost everything costs zero FP for fifteen seconds. Yeah, I think I have uh that thing for the physic. Oh man. This game's fun. <laughs> no. I think this game like transcends fun at certain points. It's like it's not meant to be fun. It's it's meant to be like an experience. Where's my runes? Can I see my runes? Yeah, I think next time we find a new site of grace, I'm going to wrap up the stream. I'm getting tired. It is almost 5 o'clock. Wow. This game's going by so fast. The time is going by so fast. I hope so. Yeah, when we look back on it after beating it and reflect on it, how far we've come and how my skills have evolved, I hope that's true. It was certainly true for like Dark Souls and Bloodborne. Are we relatively safe here? <laughs> no, we're not there. Uh, the talismans you're running are Heavy Arsenal, Physical Resistance 1. We got the name of Green Turtle Shell and the Urtree plus 1. Okay. So what, like Heavy Arsenal makes, uh, I guess, heavy weapons hit harder? But physical Resistance is... Self-explanatory. Green turtle shell that uh, boosts stamina. Yeah, so just like a, a general 
Boostification. What does this do? Does not work yet. I didn't think so. Great Jar's Arsenal gives you a ton of equip load. I yeah, I don't think we found that yet. Side of Grace. I thought there'd be one in here. Oh man. Turtle shell is stamina recovery rate. Right? That that's that's it. Right, right, right. Halle Tree Town. That's what I would need it to. Uh, let's see what's a bit further in here. That's like I'm I'm tempted and I'm I'm drawn to see. Oh hello. Flying monkey from the Wizard of Oz. This feels like we're in, uh, I forget the name of that, the, the area in Lord of the Rings where the elves were. Riverdale? Was that it? It's all terrible from here. Oh, awesome. Rivendell, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't it? A little bit? Just like a bit more, like, decrepit and forgotten. Maybe more just like the architecture. A little bit. Uh, let's see what's here. Haha, <laughs> missed me. I don't know how I avoided that. <laughs> You didn't have much trouble here once you respected the, the tankiness. What was your build before? Uh, that or the tree area after the mines of Moria. Tree, like the, uh... Like after all the hobbits escaped from the mines of Moria, right? That was... At the beginning of the two towers, right? Oh shit, I should have known. The other elves were Galadriel or Galadriel. That's, uh, yeah, forget her name. The first movie still. I think I remember that. Yeah. Your first playthrough build was a uh, faith tank with giant flame spells. Right. That sounds awesome. Dismount her with flame art affinity was your weapon. Nice, nice. Then I guess tanking here would be useful because it would prevent you from getting pushed off the ledges and the tree branches. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Basically a pyro paladin, that sounds fun. What to be this? Smith and Stone, man. I'm sick of Smith and Stones, honestly. <laughs> uh, the Sore Seal is also effectively making you take... That's true. 10, 10 to 50% more damage. That's very true. I just... I think just because I've had it on for like most of the game that I'm just used to it. So it's almost like preparing me for New Game Plus or something. Oh, shit. See ya. <laughs> Where did he come from? Nice reflection. How did you die? Hmm. 
<laughs> he had one job, he couldn't even do that. <laughs> oh, man. That thing's backward. Is that the same one? Okay, here's a ladder. Uh, before we go down there, let's head back to that other... Bigger ladder, or... or Longer ladder. Let's see where that goes to. <clears throat> yeah, this one. And I might just go back to the first grace here off camera and uh, just explore a bit more and like find stuff that I missed first time around. Yeah, I love that. Rot grease. Looks like a lion eye mis misbegotten. With red eyes. Earl Drake Talisman 2. Vastly boost non-physical damage negation. Okay, so everything except physical. Uh, same description. Oh, that's cool. There's one, two, three. Nice. <laughs> First time through, this dude fell on your head and you did you to the abyss. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Tragic, but funny. Yeah, like, when you play a game like Elden Ring or Dark Souls, you gotta find humor in the way that you die. In the ways that you die. And the, in the ways that the other, uh, the enemies die. That's a drop, isn't it? That's another set of grace. <clears throat> We're down below there. You killed a few zombies. <laughs> they just got lined. Oh, look at that rickety ass bridge. Oh, man. What's going on here? fellow party people. I can't see. My eyes are covered. Do it! Do it! Is that the mob, maybe? Only 4,000 runes or 4,500? Another ladder. Uh, let's see what's up here. Mushroom. Mushroom and butterflies. That's a good combo. Okay, so I guess ladder's the way to go? Or what's over here? Uh, nothing. Jeez, this place is confusing already. Grease. Wait, I thought there was a set of grace here. Oh, this is bad. I think. 
Do it. Oh, we're still alive. Two are dead, one's still alive. This is good, this is good. Not too bad. Ancient Dragon Smith and Stone. That's like our 15th one. Still cool though. <laughs> Not really 15th, more like our 3rd or 4th. I thought I saw a pendulum. Maybe that's the pendulum. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Somber Smith and Stone 8. Check map to see how far we've gone. Maybe a third of the way into it. So we started here. And either the end of this area is like the center of this part here, like way down below or over here, maybe. But yeah, there's still lots of stuff that we missed between this grace and this one. And I'm sure between this one and the next one we're heading to. That's crazy that she can play through this entire game and just miss this area. Finally, the rock has come back to the lands between. Yeah, I'm going to wrap up the stream here. It is getting late. We are almost six hours into the stream. Holy crap. Now oh, we can level up too. Awesome. Uh, I might respec before next stream and just like take one out of decks and put it into vigor. But we'll see. Yeah, this feels like a good spot. Uh, hang on. 170 hours into it. Wow. This is the point where shit gets more annoying? Nice. So it's just like a general escalation of annoyance in this game. Oh, man. Six-hour stream, but it feels like two and a half hours? I don't know. This game is... It's more than a game. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, so thank you everybody for hanging out and watching. Mike Shreds, Spiritual Detox, King Rez, uh, Boundless Skies. Anybody else that was watching that didn't chat. Very much appreciated. Uh, yeah, I hope to be back. Uh, Tuesday night at around 10 or 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we will continue maybe from here, maybe from Furumazula. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. We're like two months into this game, and... I just can't fathom how how vast and epic this game is. It's like occupying my thoughts when I'm not playing it. Yeah. <laughs> so I will be back, like I said, Tuesday around 10 or 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Have a good night. Take care. Peace.